just worship him today if you know he has saved you if you know he made a way for you can you worship him we bless you jesus hallelujah can you lift your voice save your save You are the Savior. Savior. The one you save, Lord. The one, one you save. Who have come. come to us. Ah, so the one you save. The one you save. Has come to us. Has come to us. Lift your voice and call him a Savior. You are the same. One more time, lift your voice and call him Savior. Yes, you are. You are my Savior. My Savior. Oh, Savior. The voice say help, help. When time of need comes, you are my help. When I don't have and I want to run to, I run to you because you are my help. Come to worship you. Ah. The ones you love, Lord, has come to worship you. The more that you raised has come to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The ones you loved has come to worship you. Now call that name, said Jesus. 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 At the mention of the name, every knee must bow. Jesus. That name is a strong tower. Jesus. The righteous running, and they are saved. Jesus. 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 Jesus, 
you save the center of it all it's you that I see it's you that I see ah. oh, Lord at the center of it all it's you that I see it's you that I see come on declare it at the center, at the center of say it's you that I see, Lord. Oh, it's you, Lord. At the center of Stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the great. You are bigger, bigger, bigger than the yes. bigger. You are stronger, stronger, stronger than hey, the strongest. So
the center of it all it's you that I see it's you that I see I put you in front in front of my melody you are all that matters you are all that matters I'll make room for two you and I Jesus you are all that matters ah, you are all that matters say oh. Shall I render to 
Jehovah For he has done so very much for me What shall I render to Jehovah For he has done so very much for me The win inside is the celebrating side. Let me hear your joy. Where are all my praises? Let me hear you. Come on. How many know that every praise belongs to the Lord? Let me hear your joy. Somebody scream. Are you ready? Everybody now, every praise is to a Come on! With one accord, every praise, all of my worship. Take it up, take it up. Come on. Whoa. We want a card. Every praise. All of my worship is to our God. Come on now, say, sing hallelujah. To our God. Glory, hallelujah. It's to our God. Every praise. All of my worship. It's to our God. Sing again. Say, say every praise. Come on. Every word of worship. With one accord. Whoa. Every praise. It's to our God. Come on now, church. Sing, sing hallelujah. Come on. Glory, hallelujah. Come on! For the last time, let's take it up, take it up, take it up! Come on! Every praise! Every praise! Hey, say it, sing hallelujah! Glory, hallelujah! It's still I. Say, uh, God, my Savior, God, my healer, God, my deliverer. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Say, God, God my Savior. He's my Savior. God, my healer. He is my healer. God, my deliverer. Yes, He is. Yes, he is. Say, God. Say, God, my He is my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Say, God. He saved me.
one thing we ask of you. Come on, choir. One thing that we deserve. Come on. Say, come on, come on, come on, we lift you up, come on, praises, arise, come on, arise, hey, arise, take your place, come on. Let's raise the banner. Hey, say, hey, my redeemer, my redeemer, say, my redeemer. He woke me up this morning. That's how I know. That's how I know. soul come on his blood he covered your sins I believe. I believe I believe whoa say my shame is taken away my shame is taken away and my pain, my pain is healed in his name I believe. I believe. come on all champions let's rest the battle singing for joy Lord Jesus you've got me singing for joy Lord Jesus 
You've got me singing for joy, Lord Jesus. You've got me singing for joy, Lord Jesus. Hey, all sing, sing for joy, sing for joy to God. Everybody sing, sing for joy, sing for joy to God. Everybody sing. Sing for joy, sing for joy to God. Now listen, if we call to him, he will run to us. If we run to him, he will run to us. If we lift our hands, he will lift us up. Come now praise his name, oh you saints of God. Everybody say, Sing for joy, sing for joy to God. Everybody sing, sing for joy, sing for joy to God. Everybody sing, sing for joy, sing for joy to God. Let me hear you sing, sing for joy, sing for joy to God. Everybody sing. Sing for joy, sing for joy. Who am mine that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call. Is it true? Say it's amazing, so amazing. I am a friend of God. Friend of God. Are you a friend of God? I'm a friend of God. Say, are you a friend of God?
here today. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, Mary, Oh, yeah. 
We 
Celebrate the God of champion. It is testimony time. It is testimony time. As we call these ones to share what the God of this commission has done for them, you join them in celebration as you keep jamming your hands as I call them out. Pastor Solomon Abo, please Rush out as the congregation keep clapping. Mr. and Mrs. Paul Julius. Mr. and Mrs. Paul Julius. Jam those hands, jam those hands for these ones. Victoria Bassi. Victoria Bassi. Billy Kisu Anthony. Can I see these ones rush out here as the congregation keep clapping their hands? in celebration with these ones mr and mrs george egabo mr and mrs george egabo jam the hands and celebrate with these ones hallelujah 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 this is our testimony session right here at the City of Wonders. To all our viewers watching via Champions Television and our official Facebook page, you can join us in this session of testimonies as the, uh, the, the members share what the God of Champion has done for them. You can also connect with us by SMSing the numbers on the screen, share your testimony. Share your testimony, viewers. Your testimony will be aired on live TV. Can you jam those hands one more time for these ones? As they come out quickly to share what the God of Champion has done for them. Quickly on the mic, Pastor Solomon. 
champion shout fire. I have come to return the glory to the God of this commission. God has delivered me and my family from the spirit of death. It all happened, I was in Kaduna State. So God instructed me, my son, leave what you are doing and join my servant, Brother Joshua Iginla. And I obeyed. And when I joined the commission, Papa sent me to Makodi. I obeyed. The flat I was staying, just few weeks, exactly 10 days today, kidnappers entered the flat, the person that was staying in that flat, they kidnapped him and his children. And before you know, all of them were killed. So I have come, the Holy Spirit ministered to me, son, this is what would have happened to you if you disobey my instructions. So I have come to return the glory to the God of Papa Joshua again. Celebrate the God of champions. I don't know if you I don't know if you understand what he's saying. Sir, you say you were where before you came to Makodi? Kaduna. He was in Kaduna. God spoke to him. Come, submit to a father here, Papa Joshua Iginla. He left the flat where he was staying in Kaduna, submitted, and Papa told him, Go to Benue State. He started the work, champions work in Benue State for some time now. He is explaining that. That same flat he was staying at Kaduna. Kidnappers came, took the people there, and killed them. That was what would have happened to him if he disobeyed the voice that told him to come. Can you celebrate the God of champions? Telespectateur mondial, cet homme est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que Dieu a fait pour lui. C'est un pasteur, il vient de la province du nord, il vient de Kaduna, de la ville de Kaduna. Lorsque Dieu l'avait donné l'instruction de venir et se mettre sous notre papa Joshua Ngila. Il a obéi, il n'a pas désobéi, il a obéi. Et immédiatement, papa Joshua Ngila l'avait envoyé d'aller être pasteur dans l'église de Benoué, à Macordi. Immédiatement, quand il avait laissé l'aménagement là où il était, à Kaduna, dix jours après, un autre loyer a été venu, un locataire a été entré dans. Dans, dans le même dans le même aménagement et le même dix jours après les kidnappeurs étaient venus et prendre la famille et les enfants tous et les tuer c'est parce qu'il a obéi la voix de l'Éternel et c'est ici qu'il est sauvé il est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bénéfice que Dieu a fait pour lui Alléluia Celebrate God The name straight to the point. My name is Victoria Bass. Champion shot fire. Champion shot in the walk, in the walk. I'm here to give all glory to God of this nation for what he has done for me and my family. In my family, both my mom's side and my dad's side, we always have issue of marital issue. Even when my siblings try to took a man to my family, the only thing we can do is just introduction. There is nothing like that we will be paid in my foundation. But just because I joined this commission, the God of Champion Royal Assembly have broken the joke of the foundational marital issue for my family. Celebrate just early this month, early this month, my kid sister went for a tradition and my body introduction and tradition. Because we know if you go for an introduction, it will not work. So we planned everything down over here when we went there. We just our elder brother that was supposed to stand as a father for us because our father has passed away. But they used our father was own elder sister and said that that marriage will never hold. And I stood up and said that the God I serve never sleep. The God of champion royal assembly. When we went to my foundation, my father's compound, they stood up and said, because we not informed there ahead of time. But we told our elder brother we are coming to the home to do tradition. We fixed our debt. My brother went there and said, oh, the siblings is coming without informing the reason why we are coming there. But when I went there, my uncle said, nothing can be happening because it's just two days to the marriage that they informed them. I have to plead with my uncles. They said, there's no way 
that married with old. The only thing I can do is introduction. I said no. I could not come all the way from Abuja to my state, Akwa Ibom State, just to do introduction. It doesn't work that way in our kingdom. The kingdom I come from is the kingdom of Joshua generation. We doesn't do all the introduction. I call one of the SOP in Akwa Ibom State. He said, Doctor, what do you want God for, to do for you? I said, Daddy, the only thing I want for you to pray for me is whatever our in-law gives to my siblings and my uncles, they should just collect it without argument. But on Thursday, there was a fight in my compound. My family is divided into different pieces I don't even understand. But because of God of Champion Royal Assembly, make that marital right come to pass and successful in the name of Jesus. Celebrate the God, God, God of Champions. Oh Celebrate the God of Champions. Our father could not break. Our own generation will break it in the name of Jesus. As if that's not enough, after I stood by them and I stood against them and said, it must definitely come to pass. On my way returning back home, they put an accident on my, on my way. But the God that I served, I was at the back. Why the accident happened at the front? They tried to carry fuel and another that that go take trade. They crashed and everything burned to ashes. But I was at the back. The God of champion preserved me. The God of champion brought me back to Abuja in good help and in good condition. I just want to say thank you, Father. I just want to glorify his name. I just want to bow before his throne and say thank you. Thank you for breaking the covenant in our family. Say thank you. Celebrate the God of champion. Téléspectateurs de jeunes femmes métisses pour rendre grâce à Dieu aussi pour le bienfait que Dieu fait pour elles. Elles sont huit dans la famille et personne les belles filles, mais personne n'est marié. Mais à sa grande surprise, c'est parce qu'elle est ici dans cette commission du champion. Elle a été localisée par un jeune homme qui voulait la marier. Et le jeune homme a dit Allons dans ton village pour que je voie ta famille. Elle s'était partie, bien, elle s'ouvre. Et les gens les demandèrent Comment tu as eu tes mariés Et à son retour, en revenant du village, au retour, ils ont planifié un accident contre elle. Quand elle venait, il y avait un grand un accident auquel que le, le, la voiture auquel elle était dedans a été pris feu et brûlée jusqu'en Bruce. Pour la voici, sainte et sauve, elle est sauvée. Sa vie maritale a été sauvée et sa vie personnelle est aussi sauvée. C'est ainsi qu'elle est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bien que Dieu a fait pour elle. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Champion, shout fire! Shout hororo! Shout he they walk, he they walk, he they walk! My name, standing before you is Mr. and Mrs. George Egabo, and I'll hororo Pekin. I just want to appreciate the God of our father, your father, my father, who has made us proud parents today. I want to appreciate the God of our father, brother Joshua Igila, what he did for me and my family, for the gift of life first, which is priceless, for his mighty hands of protection upon me and my family. I just want to appreciate him for giving us this wonderful child. I could still remember vividly when I got married, the drama that took place. There was a mad woman manifesting life that day and said, you, you will never marry. You will never carry a child. But I, I, I had something in mind. And I said, as long as I'm worshiping under this commission, I know I will be a mother one day. Celebrate God. Madam, I heard you say that a mad woman after you married on the day of your marriage was manifesting and she spoke some words that you will never carry a child. Yes, that was the exact words she used. She said, you, you will not carry a child, no matter where you go to. But I'm here standing before you today that I'm a proud mother. Celebrate the God of champions. And I also want to appreciate our father, Papa Joshua Ikila, and the sons of the prophets. I could still remember the first day I walked into this commission. I was sitting exactly that way, by the left side of the church. The son of the prophet located me. Before then, my husband joined this commission, and I told him, Oga, you can be going, though. 
God has not shown me this man, so I'm not sure I will follow you yet. Be going. And I, I could still remember I told God one thing. I said, God, if really you have called Brother Joshua Igila, I want to have a testimony that day I'm stepping into this church. And lo and behold, the very first day I stepped in, I could still remember April 15th, 2017, the son of the prophet walked up to me and said, you, God is about to visit you. I just looked at him and I smiled. I laughed over it. And he said, you will carry your child. I said, amen, reluctantly. And that's in 2017, after that prophecy, I took in. The devil fought it. I had a miscarriage. I took in July 2017. I had a miscarriage, October, precisely on the 9th. I kept on believing on God. I'm just here to encourage someone. If they have given you prophecies and it has not manifested, don't just relent. Keep praying. Push until something happens. After that experience, I took in again. The devil fought it. I could still remember Papa came and gave us prophecy. I was saying, oh God, for how long will these prophecies keep coming? And I've not still carried my child. I took in again. I had a miscarriage. I just want to appreciate this God of this commission, what he did for me. There was a crusade that happened. Jikwei Nyanya Karishi. And Papa sent his one son of the prophet, Pastor Shagun Johnson, to that crusade. I could still remember his exact words, and he said, Madam, those words that they've said to you, those things that they said it will not happen in your life, I'm seeing it manifesting. I just want to appreciate God. After that crusade, that was in August, I took in September. And this is the result of the baby. And this is the result of the My God, my God. Celebrate God. Stand up and celebrate the God of champion. I could still remember on the DOD, that's the day of delivery. It was tense. Everywhere I said, I just want to appreciate God. That that very day, the devil fought, but he can never win. I'm yet to appreciate the God of Brother Joshua Igila, who is the mighty God, the talk and do God, the one that does wonders, the one that sees it and it comes to pass, the one that has that key, that can open that closed door. I'm yet to appreciate him because he is too much. <laughs> Auquel, en l'année 2017, son mari premièrement était venu ici, adoré, loué dans cette commission du champion. Quand il, quand il était rentré, la femme a dit, non, monsieur, mon mari, je ne peux te suivre parce que cet homme, je suis je n'ai pas, je n'avais pas révélé cet homme à moi. Vas d'abord seul. Après cela, elle a prié elle-même personnellement en disant, si réellement je suis et ton fils éternel, Prouve-moi que j'ai aussi mon témoignage. Le premier jour, elle était entrée ici, dans 2017. Elle était venue, à sa grande surprise, le fils du prophète, était venu la localiser par la prophétie en la disant, « Femme, tu auras ton bébé. Qui dit que tu n'auras pas ton enfant Tu l'auras. » Et deux jours, une semaine après, elle a pris, elle, elle était devenue grosse, elle était en grossesse, la première grossesse, fausse couche, deuxième fausse couche, tre, troisième, quatrième. Le même homme de Dieu était venu encore à une grande surprise dans une croisade en le disant « N'importe qui qui te dit que tu n'auras pas ton enfant, tu l'auras dans ce mois. » Et ainsi dans le même mois après la prophétie du fils du prophète, elle était devenue grosse. Elle a pris la grossesse et voici le résultat de la grossesse auquel vous regardez le bébé à l'écran. Elle est ici pour retourner la gloire au Dieu de notre papa Joshua Igila, pour le bienfait qu'il a fait pour elle. Glorifie l'éternel. Hallelujah. Celebrate the God of champion. The bottom line is, the evil one spoke against the family. And she came here and God spoke 
and God's word stands. God's word will stand in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Straight to the point. Praise the Lord. Jump your shaft fire. We are Mr. and Mrs. Paul Julius from Mina, Niger State. We have come to return glory, honor, all adoration to this great God of this commission. In the year 2016, when we came, praise the Lord. In the year 2016, when we came, our God, who is our Heavenly Father, located my husband through our daddy in the house. Madam, before our you came here, you have been having the problem of fruit of the womb. How long? Well, before daddy gave us the prophecy, it was six years. Six years but, delay. Yes, but when the baby came, it was nine years. Can you celebrate the God of champion? So tell us directly what happened. So on that very first day, after the prophecy he gave to my husband, he said, where is your wife? And I came out. He said, I'm seeing a baby boy and a baby girl. And today... Can you celebrate the God of champion? Papa told you, Madam, listen. Let us get it clear. Papa told you accurately that he's seen assorted twins, a baby boy and a baby girl. Yes, sir. And today, what do you have? I have Joy and David. You have Joy and David. Yes, sir. A baby boy and a baby girl. Yes, sir. Can you celebrate the God of champions? Celebrate God one more time. Gloire à Dieu, cette femme est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bébé que j'ai fait pour elle et ce couple. Cette famille était mariée il y a longtemps, depuis 9 ans, mais pas d'enfants, pas de bébés dans la famille. Mais c'est lorsqu'elle était venue ici en année 2010, 2016 qu'elle était venue ici avec son mari, le couple. Elle s'était venue ici et les soignants. Elle a été localisée. C'était le mari qui a été localisé par notre papa Joshua Angila, par la prophétie en lui disant Monsieur, tu auras ton jumeau, bébé, garçon et fille. Et leur grande surprise, ils ont activé la prophétie, ils ont cru sur ça. Et voici le résultat auquel vous regardez. Voici les deux bébés, jumeaux, filles et garçons. C'est ainsi qu'ils sont ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bébé que tu as fait pour eux. Alléluia. Celebrate the God of champion. Your name straight to the point. My name is Philly and champion sharp fire. It the work, it the work. My name is Billy Kisu Anthony. So I come to return for return what God of uh, what God of champion has done for my husband Anthony. So month that last month month of uh, August, my husband had been experienced a cobweb cobweb. Your husband was experienced cobweb attack. Yes, cobweb. Cobweb. Anywhere he go, cobweb will begin to follow him. Even when he's crossing the main road. One day, he said, ah, it's too much. And I said, what is that? He said, cobweb. He said, anywhere that he's going, he's following him up and down. And he has been having problems uh, for, uh, for a working place since, uh, since before that corona. So I said, when Papa came back, he said, we should bring a three mouth tool. When I bring the, when I return the mouth tool for house, I give him, I said, Ted, use it and wipe your, your face. The God of my Papa will answer your, we, we. Papa we asked us to bring mantles and Papa prayed for the mantle. You took the mantle home and gave to your husband. Yes. So what happened? So the, the, uh, from that time, the cobweb disappeared. And Papa, before then, I dreamed that Papa appeared to me. He said, my daughter, I heard you discussing about cobweb. I said, yes. He said, don't worry. Where are you living? I said, I'm living in Gokulada. He said, there's no place that they'll paste my flyer and battle we, we entered here. He said, okay, I'm coming. Since then, the cobweb disappeared. The cobweb disappeared. Can you celebrate the God of champions? And I, I thank God again for another what God of champion have, do, uh, have done for my husband, Anthony. Last, last week, he came for deliverance. He booked for deliverance. He, he was sitting out there, that back there. So Papa did not even near him because I did not locate him. When we ba go back to our house, get back to our home, he said, but that the Papa did not locate me. And I said, don't worry. We thought Papa locate you. But Papa locate you, I know, say, something is happening. He said, okay, I believe. So that on Monday, somebody called him. That if you come, or somebody they, 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 they want, they want to paint house for somebody. Then the, the person brought brought him to the place. When we reached here, 
The man say, what, which, which work are you doing? Tell me, I'm a driver, but I have work. But we have problem for our working place. Say, okay, take this motor. Just work for me within now and December. It will be yours. That, uh, that is Celebrate the God of champions. This Glock. is a miracle. Glory to the Lord. It is a friend of the Lord. It is a miracle for her. Dans la vie, elle et son mari totalement, elles ne font que recevoir des attaques, sorcellerie, des attaques. Le mari, souvent, il ne voit rien que des filets de l'araignée, souvent. Et qui signifie l'attaque de la sorcellerie. Mais à son grand surprise, à leur grand surprise, c'est lorsqu'ils étaient venus ici, ils ont été localisés par la prophétie en disant que cette attaque sera terminée. Et depuis lors, L'attaque de l'araignée a été disparue de leur vie. Et la semaine dernière, elles étaient venues ici avec son mari. Et le mari a été localisé par la prophétie en disant, à partir d'aujourd'hui, tu seras favorisé. Et immédiatement, quand il était sorti, il a reçu des percées partout, des faveurs qui ont changé leur vie. C'est ainsi qu'elle est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bénéfice que Dieu a fait pour eux. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Champion shout fire. It's time for Rema. Please bring out your Rema and turn to page 170. Today is September 13th. The scripture reading for today is taken from the book of Proverbs 18, 20 to 21. The word. Watch your ways. That is the topic. Watch your ways. 20. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. From the produce of his lips he shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it we eat its fruits. Meditation. The meditation is taken from the book of Romans 10.10. 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The message. Words are indeed very powerful. That's why for any world that does not agree with or is not in line with God's world is dead sea. We mostly say statements like this. I am not good at any time. I am stressed. This is my sickness. I am not in the mood of joy today. I am broke. I had a bad day at work, and so on. Genuinely, as this might seem, that should not be our response. We must understand that the Christian life is not just for Sundays. We are to partake in that God kind of life at all times, and I mean at all times. As believers, we have this understanding we have this unending stream of joy welling up within us always. We, instead of giving in and at difficult times, we must make use of what have been made available to us. Our confession should later be, I refuse to bow down to sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8.10 By his stripes I am healed. I thank God for sound health. There are several ways of activating the power of God to work for you. One of them is by speaking ways that are in line with God's will. Remember, God created this world by speaking words of faith like let there be light. These few ways had the creative power of bringing into existence gigantic stars 
like the sun and the moon. The same Bible again says, we were created in God's image and likeness, meaning we were created to look like, act and function like God himself. You can therefore create your own world by the ways you see. Learn to talk right and enjoy the abundant life which is in Christ Jesus. That will be on our feet, the prayer. Please church, say after me. Precious Heavenly Father, help me to always honor you with your words of my mouth, help me to declare your word in every situation of my life in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Precious Heavenly Father, help me to always honor you with the words of my mouth. Help me to declare your word in every situation of my life. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I activate your word to work for me now. I declare financial breakthrough. I declare abundance. I declare divine health. I declare all sound fruitfulness in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I activate your word to work for me now. I declare financial breakthrough in my life. I declare abundance. I declare divine health. I declare all sound fruitfulness in everything I do. This is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Heaven is my home. O oh Lord, cleanse me from every sinful way so I can spend eternity with you. Heaven is my home. O oh Lord, cleanse me from every sinful way so I can spend eternity with you. The prophetic. Papa prophetically declare, and I echo it, may the words of your mouth alleviate your destiny. In Jesus' name. Please turn to turn to page one four five. Higher ground. Yeah. 
the rest of the service. They might have doubted your pregnancy, but they can't doubt your delivery. I said that result you need to silence every form of mockery around you is delivered to you now. This service is your service. If you believe, shot fire, shot fire, shot fire, yeah, yeah. Amen.
is changing. The oil of wonders. The dawn in Gilead. Power. Oh, so, so. And I'm strong. name in this very service that our father turned on stoppable results that results you need in your career in your finance in your family in your marriage I don't know where you are believing God for a result but before the end of this service it will enter your hands in the name of Jesus as that offering is leaving your hand, your result will enter your hands in Jesus' name. If you believe, shout fire. Choir, please.
sweet me. rejoicing and salvation shall never cease from your homes in Jesus name let's jam our hands together as we welcome the choir for their prophetic rendition has done you well can I see you wave your hands if God has been so good to you we are seeing your hands of wonders and your unending power we are seeing your signs and wonders and your unending power Lord no one can stop it no no one can avoid it that have received. No one can stop it, no. No one can stop it that have received. You have done great things. You have done great things for me. How can I pay? You have done great things. You have done great things for us. We cannot refer. Chide Kimo, Chide Kimo, Daddy, you do well. Chide Kimo, Chide Kimo, now you do we know. Another fit tire, another fit relax to the place you will my heart. Another fit tire, another fit relax. 
to the hell you were For the things you do for me And the parties where I win I the hell you were my heart For the things you do for me And the parties where I win Oh, oh, oh You do well. Lift your voice and sing loud. Chineke. I never feel tired. I never feel relaxed. To the pressure of my heart. I never feel tired. I never feel relaxed. For the things you do for me and the battles where I win, oh, oh, oh. Right. Ah, for the things you do for us and the battles where we win, oh, oh. The parts is where I win, yeah. Oh, for the things you do for me, and the parts is where I win, oh. Chineke, Chineke, ah, yeah. Chineke. Another very last to the praise you owe. For the things you do for me and the battles where I win. You do well, yeah. You do well, oh. You do well, you do well. You do well, yeah. You do well. We have seen your hands of wonders and your unending power. No man can stop it, no. No man could avoid it that have received. No man could resist it that have received. You have done great things. You have done great things for me. How can I pay? You have done great things. You have done great things for us. We cannot repay. Just a voice. We have done great things. You have done great things for me. How can I pay? You have done great things. You have done great things for us. We cannot repay. Science King, Kadosh, 
shadows you were mighty on your throne say you reign you wishes are your skin shadows shadows you were mighty on say you, you reign you reign you reign you wishes are your skin shadows Let me hear the choir say, hey, shadow, shadow, you are mighty, lift your voice and say, You were mighty on your throne. Sing loud, O oh saints of God most high. Sing loud, Kadosh. You were mighty on your throne. Everybody say, You reign. Kadosh. You were mighty.
Say Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. You reign, you reign. Lift your voice. Say Kadosh, Kadosh. I don't know, Lord. One more time. and let's worship God. Thank you. It's so mighty. Stand up everywhere and just lift up your two hands up to thank him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say some words in your dialect to him. Thank him. Tell him how you love him. Just say some words to him. This month of September, he has been so good. You know? Tell him how you love him. Mm. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God. You 
of your hands and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You don't need to be worried. What your night gonna bring? It will be all over in the morning. You don't need to be worried. Would your night gonna bring? It will be all over in the morning. In the Up your hands and thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Say some words to him. Liko parata soprande yala basha, kota bayala da soko bayala ba. Liko parata basho ta yabalas, liko parata soko bayala diash, liko parata sota yala ba. Joko pas say for him way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are. yes you are yes you are yes you are way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my god that is who you are. Yeah, you are. We make hey. miracle walk. You're the promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. We make a miracle walk. You're the promise keeper. Light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. You are here. You are here. Touching every life. Touching every life. We came to 
worship. I worship you. That's what we came to do. I worship you. Say you are healed. healed. You are healing. We worship you. I worship you. We worship you. I worship you. Lord, you are healed. You are mending broken hearts. We came to worship. worship we came to worship. worship Say you are, you are, you are. Hey, you're the promise keeper. Light in the darkness. I call that is Come on, everybody, everybody. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. We make a miracle walker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Yes, you are. Come you on, are, everybody. You are, you are. We make a miracle walker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are, you are, you are. You are. You are. We make a miracle yes. walker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Lift up your hands and thank him. Thank him. Thank him. And you shall we my one. And we La sora ma sache la sora ma sache a we ma ye o en yin sha la we ma ye o en yin sha Just say some words and thank him and thank him. Thank him. Tell him how you love him. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him from everlasting. 
everlasting to everlasting I will praise him from everlasting everlasting to everlasting hallelujah pick up your Bible Ecclesiastes chapter 3 Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 through 5 let's get that Ecclesiastes 3 keyboardies I want you to be on through art for me hear me okay we just take it little and then we go let's read together I want to go to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven verse 2 verse 2 a time to be born a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted verse 3 i'm not hearing you well a time to kill a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up go on a time to weep a time to laugh a time to mourn a time to dance verse 5 a time to cast away stones a time to gather stones together a time to embrace a time to refrain from embracing please stand up when we are reading the word you don't see it it's an honor to god not to man of god let's read the last one want to go a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones a, a time to embrace a time to refrain from embracing sit down on your enemy's head you know I love this song you got times and season in your hands let me hear you choir he got times and season in his hands Lakosha paradia suteya. Need a man to be the God you are. Yes, you don't need a man to be the God you have. To call me your You got time. You got time, time and season in your hands. Lika paradia. Choosing to call me your own. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place, no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. It's just you God. God. Let come on. God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by you were God, you were God, from the beginning, from the beginning to the end. There's no, There's no place for arguments. You were God all by yourself. You were God, God, from the beginning to the end. There's no place, There's no place for. Chosen to 
God is mighty. Today I will be sharing with us on what I titled the mystery of time. Mystery of time. Mystery of time. Mystery of time. Either you like it or not, God has designed time. And there's time for everything, like we read in Ecclesiastes. A time to be born, a time to die, so a time to sing, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embrace, a time to gather stone, a time to scatter. Time to mourn and a time to dance. So, every life has this compartment. Every life. If you have not got into one of these timing, it's because the time has not come. You did not hear me well. Now, listen to me. I want to talk to you and I need you to follow me very well. It might be one of the messages that might bless you throughout lifetime. It might not be full of revelations, but it might be full of life experiences. A time, a time. Because your time is not my time. And my time is not your time. Now, God has broken life into various seasons. You know? And so God has put life in seasons and time. And sometimes you might be carried away. By another man's timing. And in life, when you go through Ecclesiastes and you read through and you begin to count the timing, might be close to 14. You all, you, we all go through this cycle of timing. All of us. The time where you will gather for business. And a time where the business will scatter. You might not even understand is the timing. A time where you, will, you see yourself testifying about your house, your car, your land, buildings. A time where you lost a loved one and you cry. Some of us are tied to family, relatives. You've lost, lost one. Look, it's, 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 not, it's only in the Pentecostal church when people die we begin to... We begin to assign that the prophet has used them for sacrifice. Because we don't understand timing. Nobody will live forever. In the Orthodox church, it's a normal thing. They get prepared and encourage themselves. But in the Pentecostal, we stigmatize the prophet. As if even the prophet himself will live forever. He won't live forever. When his time comes, he will go. Ask many great generals who are there. Kenneth Hagen, Maurice Elulo, great men. Mother Hudo Hector, Kentry Kuma. Even our fathers of faith, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, powerful as they are. Moses, great prophet. When their time came, they left. So you need, you, I, I need you to follow me. You need to understand that your life is compartmental or it has been, it has been put on subtopics. When you get to that topic of that timing, you can't escape it. We will face the time. When you get to the topic of the timing of dancing, you don't see yourself celebrating 
Everywhere, everybody will think you are the one making it to happen. When you get to the topic of money, you find that there are some people you love dearly in your life. You can't stop them from going. You begin to, you begin to see that morning time. It is at that morning time we forget the dancing time. You know, I and Dunia Nabanza name. I seek in Dunia Nabanza name. Kai and Dunia Nabanza name. Can you take it low? I'll seek in who shall leave my kids. Kai and Dunia Nabanza name. Kulin Dunia Nabanza name. Isaac in Dunia, the Banzani, Sabo Shadima, Kayan Dunia, the Banzani, Kudin Dunia, the Banzani, Isaac in Dunia, the Banzani, Sabo Shadima. Maybe you stay there and don't go anywhere. There are seasons. Sit time is one of the seasons. Let me give you about six seasons in life. Sit time is one of the seasons. You get to a point in the season of time. Follow me where you plant. Sit time is when you plant. Planting when you begin to work for the future. The time where you walk like elephant and you don't see anything to show. Everybody is asking you, where all this work that you are working, what is the evidence to show for what you are working for? Sit time. When you go to school, university, you burn the candle, you come out with your degree. It looks like it is a waste time. That is a sit time. It's a season in life. Everybody, no matter how powerful you are, is a sit time. Even when your father is rich and leaves you with inheritance, let me, let me tell you this, if you don't know how to sow the inheritance as a seed, you find out that you squander it and start planting your own seed. Ask the children of Abiola, ask most of those great children, no matter how wealthy your father is, the inheritance your father leave, leave for you or has uh, left for you is a seed for you to start your own life. When you take his, your inheritance as an harvest, you will squander it and you will now begin to start afresh. There is no man on earth that does not have a seed time season in life, a planting season in life, an investment season in life, an establishment season in life. And it is pathetic when you take your planting season and then you are waiting for harvest at that season, you'll be frustrated. You know? You must learn how to live a day at a time. Planting, planting, planting. I live for Jesus day after day. I live for Jesus day after day. His Holy Spirit, I will obey. I will obey. I live for Jesus. They are the day. I live for Jesus. I live for Jesus. Day after day. Day after day. I live for Jesus. I live for Jesus. Second season is what I call the winter season of life. The cold season of life. When nothing is working. Lovely seasons of life. Where you lose friends. Where you lose people you think you love them or love you. You know, what we call the winter season is a cold season. 
during the cold season you are all by yourself to your blanket covering yourself where life is shrinking where there is a shaking around your life where you feel that you are alone where people don't want to associate with you for one thing or the other they think has happened around your life every one of us got that season in life if you have not gotten there it's because the time has not come you will get there a season where family members can reject you where they heard that you are uh, HIV positive and they take your story and it is your family that is exposing the story where they no want to associate a season where they they see your phone call and they reject the phone call because they know you're about to ask for money so it's a season where you are all by yourself a season where you are all by yourself you you look at yourself life is so bad for you you become lonely at the race you have people around you but nobody is around you you have people around you but nobody seems to feel your impact is at that season in life you feel everybody that is supposed to stand by you is running away from you it's a season in life either you like it or not it's going to come it's going to come it's a season it's a time in life if you have not gotten there it's because you have not you are the time has not come or your your journey has not taken you to that point a season a season in life where you be where 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 you be laid in the coffee no matter how your wife cries she cannot enter into the coffee is a season in life a cold season in life a cold season in life I, I remember somebody called me from the hospital bed she was just crying she said uh, I was diagnosed of COVID-19 and and my husband can near me my kids can near me I feel all alone it's not the COVID man of God that is killing me I just feel like taking my life because I became a stigma to even my children and everybody around a season a cold season there's not a friend like the lovely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No one else could heal all our soul diseases. No. when you now see their true heart twenty nineteen is a year I will never forget in the history of my life when I came out to talk to you about my marital challenges then I saw people who are not even qualified to talk to me saying things they never knew about he don't know that this man had collapsed two times of high blood pressure and almost died if I had died, they would have said something he has done has killed him. That was when I saw that people are around, can, you can think you have people around. People have asked me, why have you changed? What has changed your perception about life? I, to me, I felt I've died and resurrected again and I've learned a lot in life. My trust is not in man. I have seen people that say, I will die by you turning a road away. I've seen people that are far from me holding my feet and say, where you go, that's where we go. 
I learned lessons in my life. I've seen people who are beneficiary of this great ministry whom I stood by and stood by their marriage, fought for their marriage to stand, fasted and prayed and defended and never made them to know that I was having knives by my back that broke me down. But I was making sure that marriages stand, stood up to speak all manner of words. I became like someone in the cold water. But I learned one thing, that those seasons don't last forever. Mm. They don't last forever. And I hear one of them, after I made the confession, said, let's see how people will gather the next Sunday in the church. And the next Sunday, they saw people, they saw people, they saw, and they continued to say, up till today, they were defeated. Their purpose and their counsel stopped because it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but it's of God that showed mercy. You know, it's your mercy will please. It's your mercy we plead. It's your mercy we plead in our lives, God of wonder. Your mercy, Lord. It's your mercy we plead. Your mercy, Lord. It's your mercy we plead. We plead for mercy. It's your mercy we plead in our lives, God of wonder. Anurela Mary. You know, sit down. Some men of God that I know in this country who have four children outside wedlock were calling me to talk and prove as if they are Holy Spirit. I say, You, you are talking. I know everything about you. You know, I, I saw men of God who beat their wife, who are, who are enduring, who have complete colossal loss, a monumental failure to the body of Christ, who have failed completely, who don't understand that he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. Talking, that was a season. I left that season. The next third season is what I call the summer season. The season of warmness. The season where the weather is good. The season where everybody want to go on holiday abroad because it is summer. It's a beautiful season. That season is a season where you enter in life. You are just feeling the goodness of life. It's not because of what you have done. Not because of the prayer. Not because of the fasting. Because the season is supporting you. You don't get it. Not because you know how to fast. Not because you are more righteous than another. The season is abating you. It's that season where you enter. Everything is warm. People are not coming around. The same people that ran away from me when I had my story. When the private jet came, they want to identify. It's a season in life. It's a season in life where God will set you on eye and put a song in your mouth and put a song in your lips to make you a joy for the world war. God is taking you to that season. Huh? Ah, 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 Le Koparata. He will put a new song. It's a season. A se Am I helping somebody here? Is somebody hearing me? The season where everybody that did not accept you want to accept you. A season where you don't fast and pray for husband. The husband just come. The season supported you. Uh, a season of rest. A season where God give you rest. Where problem have to back out of your life where peace begin to come where peace of mind come is a season somebody say a season the season the season the summer the summer season ah where loved one begin to come around where there is a warm embrace oh take me deeper deeper and in love with you Jesus, hold me close to your embrace. Come on. 
time of life the dark season of life everybody seems to have gone to sleep the night season of life is old age a season where you get to where you see football but you can no longer play football you just remember the days you do play football the night seasons of life is the time where you begin to see yourself drawing closer than you ever think to your savior at that season you no longer get in touch with the world you begin to tell your children about how to live before how to live after you have gone then you begin to talk about legacy in case i have gone you know you need to do like this make sure this is done make sure that is done the night season when you are in the night season there is so much that you cannot think about because you begin to think you begin to think that i'm going closer to my savior either you like it or not or you don't like it when you get to 70 80 and that you begin to see yourself exiting the wall no matter how you try to stay for a long time you know you are closer than you ever draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the cross where thou art thou draw me nearer nearer blessed lord to the precious clean side season of life you no longer begin to see your children as they only hope now you begin to know that rock of ages left for me let me hide myself in thee let the water and the blood from the Side with flaws, we are Cleanse me from his guilt and At the season of life, it becomes important for you to understand that you are closer, no matter how you try to pretend. There is always a night season, a night season, a night season. You know, I must walk the walk of him that sends me while he stays. For the night comes when no man can walk again. Will you be ready to walk with Jesus any moment when he comes? He rewards you when he comes to take his pride away. He rewards you when he comes to take his pride away. He will reward you when he comes to take his pride away. The last season is the day season of life. <laughs> And now you need to understand when the day season comes, the sunlight of life rises up. 
then you see a life shining and you don't understand why this life is shining the way the life is shining then you begin to ask what season is this guy this guy is in his son season you might not understand it's not about old age when a man is reigning he's in his day season of life am i communicating is a time where the sun shines all over you everybody around is asking is she the only one is he the only one your day has broke her you know Tamboa, my day don't break oh. understand when your day break we just can't stop it they can talk about it but they cannot stop it am i prophesying to somebody here ah thought your weeping may endure for the night but your joy comes in the morning my name is joshua Igilla. People call me the Aurora Master. By the oil on my head, I prophesy you are breaking into your day. Leko Paratasha, you are breaking into your day. Everywhere you enter, your day has broken. Hey, you enter business, your day don't break. You enter ministry, your day don't break. At your place of office, your day don't break. Day that I hate you. Tell them my day don't break. Leke parataka porataka ya ikatara da 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 sh ile de de sh ile de de sh ike choroneo le pranto ya le de 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 sh le kotara da da ikapara da ya everything dead today you break through your day don't break the sun is rising up over your life over your ministry over your destiny over your marriage over your life your day has broken i feel like preaching here my day don't break Paradise. Sit down, let me go. You know, when I begin to study the word of God and I discover if you are not careful, you get yourself into problems because you want to compete another man in his time and season. You don't get what I'm saying. When you look at an apple tree, there is a time and season for it. When you look at a mango tree, there is a time and season for it. When you look at an orange tree, 
there is a time and season for it. When you look at a carrot tree, there is a time and season for it. The problem is when you are a mango tree and you want to become like a carrot tree, you might not understand. When you see another man in his season shining, it might not be that you don't have a season and time. It might be that your fruit has not ripe. You don't get what I'm saying. When you see another man eating his mango, it doesn't mean as an orange tree that you are not going to be like that. It might be that your time and season has not come. Um, Job said all the days of my life I will wait I will wait you might not understand what I'm saying don't compare yourself with another man some people might be in their planting season why some might be in their harvest season which is the last season so you must be very careful not to compare yourself with a man in his harvest season why you are in your planting season Sit down, let me talk to you. Sit down. Am I helping you? Is it sinking? Don't compare yourself with a man who is already in his harvest season. This is the problem of the younger generation. Everybody wants to be at the same season at the same time. We can't be at the same time. Do you know when that man planted his, his seed and now he's in his harvest? You just come and don't see the man in the harvest. And you want to get the harvest of a man who planted 10 years ago now. This is the reason for inordinate ambition. Barbaric, satanic, and confusing ambition. Where you see a young man want to be general overseer overnight and have his father resort in one year. What took some of us almost 29 years of our lifetime to acquire? Some people want to get it overnight. And so when they cannot get it, then you attack the one in his harvest season. You try to bring him to your level because you don't understand. Life is time and season. You know, Satan wanted to be in the season of God. Isaiah 14 verse 14. He was not planning to overthrow God. No, no, no. It's even childish for him to think that. Look at it. Put Isaiah 14, 14, please. He was... When I read the scripture, it blew, blew my mind to understand what Satan was trying to do. And that's what some people are trying to do. Please help me by the counsel there, Isaiah 14, 14. To find out that some people are trying to be like you be like you and this is what brings the problem can you help me do I have somebody on the console there let me read it for you if they cannot okay I will ascend above the height of the cloud I will be like the most high God he was not trying to overthrow God mm -mm. I've heard people preach he won't. no he cannot overthrow God he wanted to form a parallel government. He wanted to form a parallel government. He wanted to equate himself with God. Satan, the, crea the creation, trying to form a parallel government with the creator. Hey, the one that has no beginning. You don't even know, Lucifer, you don't even know how I came. Even me, myself, I look all around the earth. I look for something to swear with. There is nothing to swear with because I'm bigger than the biggest, stronger than the strongest, uncreated creator. Nothing created me. I just came to be. I came before the beginning began. I have already begun. I am that I am. I use the cloud to cover myself. I am the essence of this. I am older than the oldest, bigger than the biggest, stronger than the strongest. My voice roar 
towards the sea. When the sea roar, it is thanksgiving to me. When the birds sing in the forest, they give me praise. Even the trees, they pay ovation to me. I am God all by myself. There is no argument who I am. I am God all by myself. I don't even know how to call myself. The heaven cannot contain me. I extended my footstool to the earth. I am too big that everywhere you go, I am there. America, I am there. UK, I am there. Wherever you can mention, go down to the deep sea, I am there. Go down to the ocean, I am there. Ala panlato sole ayero Arubo ojo Kini wu e ya juda By just the voice of my nostril The breath I parted Red Sea Lucifer Do you know what it takes to be me? <laughs> just try to be me You don't understand who I am I look around. Moses asked me, who will I say send them? Send me. I look around. I can't say I was what I was because I am not was. I am, I am, I am. I am that I am. I am never a past God. I am currently current and current. You don't get it. Because if he told Moses, I was what I was, it will be that he's an outdated God. He said, anytime you appear before him, before Pharaoh, I am, I am, I am. I am your present help in the time of need, not your past help. Can I help you? Sit down. Lucifer try to be like God. Like seemingly. Let me just be like him. That's how so many people are trying to be like. They want to be like their father. It is not even trying to be like. It is the desperation to forcefully enter there without waiting for the season. <laughs> and God kept quiet and said, if you know where I'm coming from, you will not think you can become me overnight. Everything God created made himself the head. But oh, hear me. This is where I'm going to. Don't ever forget this today. The mystery of the tale. Everything God is as a head to Lucifer his as a tail. There are two dimensions in life. The head dimension and the tail dimension. Where I love me say Hey hey Where I love me say Where I love me say Hey hey Where I love me say Oh Timoru Beko Shishi where there are two dimensions the head dimension and the tail dimension so as God is a head to us is how the devil is trying to be a tail to us when I saw this put Revelation 12 verse 4 don't ever look down on the tail the mystery of life this is the mystery of the tail. Revelation 12 verse 4. Let me show you what the tail can do. The tail. The tail. He said, and his tail grew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them. I don't know which version. When you read down with other version, it said, the tail grew one third of the angels. The tail. The tail, who is the tail? Satan. Satan succeeded by using as a tail the mystery of the tail to deceive one third of the angel and left two parts of the angels. So it simply means 
if we have 100 angels in heaven, he deceived 30 of them out of heaven. Through the tail. What does this tail mystery mean? It simply means, no matter how you feel that you are the head, your driver can destroy your life. No matter how you feel you are the head, your get man can end your life. Don't ever look at the servant as a tail. Your housemaid, who is a tail, can destroy your life. That no matter how you look down on the tail, the tail is still powerful. Oh. Am I talking about the mystery of the tail? You're not getting me. The mystery of the tail. The mystery of the tail says no man is insignificant. That nothing is insignificant. That everything in life must be given proper attention to. That don't look down on anything because you are big. The tail. Have you seen Mali? The young guy that overthrew the government. Is it Mali? You see the young guy? I think he's a corner. That's he's a corner. That's a tail. He shocked day. He shocked. And this is a lesson to all powerful men. Don't ever think an insignificant thing can shake a thing. It can shake. It can shake. It can shake. It can shake. An insignificant thing can shake the tail. The tail. What do I mean by tail? I'm talking about that little thing in your life that you are not paying attention to. Is the tail. You are righteous. You are prayer warrior. But you have the, you have short temper you easily get hungry that's the tail the tail of the the tail of the serpent is still there it can cause a pool you don't get it you're a wonderful lady well behaved god fearing your problem is you gossip men of god over and over and over that is the tail around your life you are just incurring causes over your life blocking your way involving yourself in matter that does not consign you that's the tail you are a good singer you pray very well but you smoke you smoke that's the tail for the instrumentalists you know most instrumentalists in other churches they will play instrument play praises when it is time for the word they go out of the church and receive fresh air until the word is over that's the tail everybody is getting blessed but the one playing is out of the blessing arena that's the tail can i talk about the mystery of the tail the mystery of the tail the bible said then lucifer used his tail to deceive one third of the angels out of heaven the tail the tail the tail the tail the tail, the tail. I'm hoping I'm a giver, I'm a lover of God, but I'm a drunker. That's the tail. The devil has his tail in so many's life. That's why the lordship and the headship of God is not complete. That's the tail. That's the tail. I love God. I know God is a healer, but I have fear of COVID 19 that I can't even come to church anymore. The devil has his tail. That's why Job said, what I fear most has come upon me. That's the tail. That's the tail. There are unbelievers who don't pray like you. They are walking up and down. COVID has not hit them. But you that pray, you don't believe in your God. Because you don't understand that even in your house, anything can invade you at any time. It is God that helps. It is God that keeps. It is God that protects. Uh, uh, what happened you? The tail. The tail. So, the tail is so powerful. He said the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. But you know, when you cut the head of the serpent, the tail is still shaking. God is saying, after you cut the head, kill, crush the tail. Because the tail can take one third of your life out. After you bruise the head, go after the tail. After what I've gone through in life, I pay attention to every details around me. There's nothing I ignore. If something cough, I go and investigate the reason for the cough. Because I've discovered that the most thing you ignore are the things that trouble the boat of your life. 
man want to marry you. And you met him. Smoking. And he said it's a mistake for the first day. That's a sign of the tail. The next day again, you met him drinking. Uh, I was just confused. That's a sign. The next upper day, he collected the whole of your salary for three months. And he keep telling you that my container will arrive. My container will arrive. And the container has not arrived. Contain him quickly. Or tell him before he destroy your destiny. That's a tail. That's a trace of the tail. A lady want to marry you for the first six months. She has made you to live in debt for two years for your salary. That's a tail reaction. Don't ignore it. Pay attention to the tail. You hear what I'm saying? You are in the car. Your driver is driving you. Asking your guy, where did you go to? Uh, uh, what is inside the bag? He's always investigating you. He has become a boss that you are reporting to. He is one to know everything. If you are walking around a great man and you are investigating him, you are a witch. Leave him to live his life. You have your private life and like him a right to his privacy. When people around you investigate you, watch them. They're either a gossiper or either a trailer or either an informant. You don't get me. A driver can make a guy to become stupid overnight. You enter into your bedroom and you saw your ass ever drawing your wardrobes and you say it doesn't matter it matters what are you doing there that's a signal don't play no matter how emotional and compassionate you are don't be stupidionate you not get that oh, stupidionate don't check your dictionary for that are you hearing me it's only in my own lexicon no matter how don't allow don't allow your emotion to control your decision you don't get don't some people I chase them out of my life and I find peace you don't get me let them call you wicked man it doesn't matter experience is not what happened to us what we do with what happened to us you know can I go on now, follow me now no matter how timing is and powerful timing is God does not live in time. God doesn't know what is called timing. Follow me. God doesn't understand what is called timing. No, he doesn't understand what is called timing. God doesn't understand. God is just God. He lives in eternity. He doesn't know what is called day or night. Mm -mm. It's not subject to day or night. In heaven, there's, God doesn't know we are in 2020. Mm, there's nothing like 2020. God doesn't have dates. He doesn't have dates. So when God said, I lift you up, he spoke it in the spiritual realm and it's called the realm of eternity. A realm where there is no time, no syllabus, no, no programming. So God speak, you are lifted. You are lifted. But he needs a man now to, to download and activate that prophecy in the confines of time. Follow me. That's what we call prophetic timing. And that's where I want to go today. That's where I'm going to hit on now. Prophetic timing. Second Kings 7 1. I hope those are the counsel will help me because I want to run now. Follow me. Follow me. I want to say prophetic timing. Second Kings 7 1 and 2. Let's read it. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. I don't know why we are having slow. And Elisha said, I hear a word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. <laughs> Look at verse 2. That's it. Verse 2. Verse 2. And whose arm the king leaned answered. The Lord whose arm the king leaned answered. The man of God. I said, Behold, if the Lord would make windows of heaven, might these things be? 
And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it, and the eyes shall not eat thereof. Now watch this. Whenever God speaks a thing in the realm of the spirit, where there is no timing, he needs a man on that timing to download it for a specific timing. It simply means that, hear me, why you need to understand the importance of having a prophet. You must understand that when God speaks a thing, he speaks as the internal God. He doesn't understand timing. And he needs a man to re-echo the time. So Elijah, Elijah said, by this same time, will a barn of flour be sold for a shekel? Now, a man put a time. A man put a time. Every of your prophecy have not come to pass because your prophet have not targeted by a time. <laughs> you don't get me. By this time tomorrow, the economy of your bank account will change. They are not hearing now. 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 Before the end of this year, your husband will manifest. Hey, 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 hey. Your ministry will change level. Oh, I preach it. Huh? A time, a time, a time. A time, a time, a time. Your time has come. Your time has come. By this same time tomorrow, those that trouble your life will die your death. Sit down. <laughs> Can I build it up? Will you follow me? Are you hearing me? And then the Lord, the guy who was one of the chiefs around the king, said even God opened the window of heaven. What this man of God said can never come to pass. And the man of God said, Aha, because I have said it and you mock me. He said you will see it. You will not eat from it. Just mocking this prophecy over your life. They will see it come to pass before they die. Oh, can I preach here? Those that say you will not marry, they will wait until the day of your wedding and they will die your dead and cry your cry. Those that say your prayer cannot be answered, I prophesy before the end of this year, they will see it and not touch it. I need 100 of you to connect to that prophecy. Hey, they say you come to church, nothing God has done, but can I prophesy? The Lord is about to do something. It's about to happen. Oh, by this time, the prophecy is about to come to pass. I don't like it or not. My name is Joshua Igilla. I prophesy by this same time, the Lord is bringing it to pass. A coparandes, a miracle God. The miracle that changed life is about to change your life. The God of wonders, the God of signs and wonders is bringing to pass what he has said. As he not said it, will he not do it? Hey! I speak as a prophet. I project myself to the realm of the spirit. I command. I prophesy. I project myself supernaturally. I command what has been waving over your life. It shall come to pass. I say it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass by this same time tomorrow. I speak as an oracle of God, the miracle of God. That contract will come, that money will come by the aurora on my head. The Bible speaking. Chronicle 2020. Sit down, please. Believe the Lord God. Thou shalt be established. <laughs> Believe his prophet. 
Thou shalt prosper. Now hear me. Establishment is a sure word that this will come to pass. But that does not mean the prosperity will come. This is where you people don't understand. Hey, all these men of God, you don't need. Why are you, why are you honoring men of God? Don't understand. Even God, even God in heaven, he want to pass a message to you. He need to, he need to, he need those men you are ignoring. God doesn't ignore us. It is you that you want to ignore a man. You want to ignore a man. God cannot ignore the man. You are ignoring the man. Who will I send? Who will go for me? Because all I declare is in the realm of eternity. I need a man to document it into time. You don't get it. Why are they saying 6 AD? 19 AD? You don't understand? A man lived at that AD. That is why the thing was programmed at that AD. You, you say God is, you say man is not important. Who tell you man is not important? Who, who tell you man is not important? God himself alone cannot come on the, on the scene of the earth and begin to be God and people. That will not make him God. It is you that make him God. That make him, make him relevant. You don't understand? Let me explain. You don't need God. You don't need, you don't, uh, all this man of God. And you are reading about Mighty. Is Mighty not a man? You are reading about Abraham. Is Abraham not a man? Is he a ghost? And you are saying the God of Abraham. You are reading about Jacob. Is Jacob not a man? Is Jacob and is a, is a spirit? Moses, is Moses not a man? Is Elijah not a man? All these people you read about, are they not man? And are their name not in the Bible? Were they not documented? Was it God's story that was documented? Or God walking through them and their story documented? And that's what is called your Bible. You see? Why, why, why are you praying the God of why are you praying the God of Joshua Gila? Joshua Gila is the man on stage now, not Elijah. This is the man on stage now, not Elijah. I read in the Bible that Elijah did 16 miracles. Some of us have lost count of the miracles God has used us to do. Our God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. And the glory of the latter house, Joshua Igela is the glory here of the latter house. So when you say the God of my father, you are not committing a sin. See now, let me talk to you. Is it Abraham that is pastoring you now? Is it Pastor Moses that is pastoring you now? Is it Jacob that is pastoring you now? Is it Paul that is pastoring you now? Who is pastoring you now? Joshua Igila, of course. See now. The belief system that makes you believe the dead and not believe the living is called ancestral worship. When you talk about the ancestors, nothing bad, but you don't talk about the the ones who are here now, who are currently here, as you find out that when people do, when great men of God die, Archbishop Ben Sindausa was never appreciated. Because until he left the world, everybody's making reference to him. We love ancestral worship. We love talking about the dead, good. But when they are alive, do not talk. Your mother is alive now, you can't kick cow for him, for her. When she dies now, you go and buy seven cow. Sure. You can't buy a good cloth for your father now. It's when he's dying. You are not saying, I'm the one that will buy the suit for him. Sure. Can I teach here? Am I helping you? Are, are, are you getting it now? Are you, are you getting what, what, God, what God is saying? That's why you must be very careful. Don't allow anybody to smaller size your man of God. You are not fighting for God. You are defending your lineage. You can't talk about Igila and I keep quiet. That's where I come from. I'm from Adoikiti. The fountain of knowledge. You can see how I'm talking. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lika parako paranda. E kwa 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 daya lada. Rekoto ya gadaya. Godugudu ya ga. Koshoko daya. 
sit up. They cannot be insulting your man of God, your father. And you keep quiet. You are a bastard when you do that. Somebody is telling you not to talk. Not to talk. They are insulting your father. Can you sit down for somebody to insult your mother? You see what happened in Nigeria of recent? They were insulting Papa Bishop Oedipo. The children stood up. That's what we call, that's what we call defending your lineage. They stood up. Then that the freezer apologized. He is forced to apologize. And I thank God for him for humbling himself to apologize. That's the way to go. Peace of red. You insult our fathers. We reply you back. Your brain correct. And you continue. And we walk peacefully. Christianity is not stupidity. Somebody is fighting your father. You are going behind to relate with the person. And you are calling it Christianity. You are an idiot son. What kind of child are you? Sit down. Some of my mother's family were trying to insult my mother. I got angry. Build her house, gave her a car, gave her everything. Land her with money. I said, reply them. I can't reply them. Reply them. They replied the whole of them saying, Mama, yes. Say, that is your position. You don't stay as a child and watch your parents being insulted biologically or spiritually. It's not fight. It's the standard of life. How can you be drawing people who have worked and labored for years to reduce them to nothing? Not because of internet. Some things that people have labored labeled all through their life when there was no Facebook, Twitter, anything you are not destroying you reducing it to a loaf of bread because of an opinion and I go forward God spoke to Abraham I will make you father of many nations follow me God gave him all the prophetic word I will bless you I will lift you up God who said let there be light spoke but nothing happened Abraham didn't have a child Abraham was, Abraham was just at a level. I'm going to look around. He said, I need to do something. Because I spoke from the realm of eternity. If a man does not manifest to put it in time, nothing will happen. <laughs> in Genesis 18, 1 and 2, the Bible says, One day Abraham was sitting at the tent. Three men, three men, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, appear as men in order to bring the prophecy from an eternity realm to a timing realm. Put the scripture, let me show you. Am I helping you now? You see why you need a prophet to speak over your life? It's not for entertainment, please. He said, and the Lord appeared unto him in the plane of men. Who appeared? The Lord, not an angel. He sat down in the tent in the heat of the day, the guy was going through heat of barrenness. Pressure of life. Verse 2. Put it there. Verse 2. And he lifted up his eyes. Lord, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door. And bowed himself towards the ground. And then they entertained them. Watch it. He entertained God. The Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. Because at that rain, they have to eat as a man. So they ate good calf meat. And then he pounded the yam he prepared. So from divinity, they became humanity. Then as a human being, they proclaimed. <laughs> By this time, the time of season, Sarah, your wife, shall have a child. I proclaim it as a deity and I proclaim it as a man. You don't get it. You don't get it. Am I helping you? Somebody hear me? You need a man to talk. Oh. 
day. People that they tell you say, eh, eh, all these prophets, they know you need a man to talk. If a man does not say what is in the realm of the spirit, you do not hear me. I am, am I helping you? I came to damage theology. Are you hearing me? God has to sit down to eat. After he eat, he became a confirmed 100% man. Then he now say, the reason why it has not come to pass, I spoke as a deity, and there's no man to carry this prophecy to you. So I have to decide to come as a man in order to carry the prophecy. Because now, God was in the confinement of time and season. So he declared on that time and season, the reason why your prophecy has not come is in the realm of eternity. God said to Abraham in Genesis 12, I will make thee great. Make thy name great. In you will all the nation of the world be blessed. Nothing was blessed among, around Abraham. Until a man called Melchizedek. Hear what the Bible says. He either have no beginning, no ending, or father or mother. <laughs> the king of Salem called the king of peace. Melchizedek had to come to the earth. Ah, uh, he came from the heavenly realm and became a confirmed man. The Bible says Abraham met him and gave one ten of the time. And the king of Salem, this guy did not have a father, a mother. We did not know where he came from, and we never knew how he left the scene. It was a spiritual entity who left because there was no prophet. No physical man to carry the word to bring it to timing. I told you, I told you, you don't need a man. First King chapter 4. It's a widow. Not even a widow. It's a woman, barren. Very barren. And here it is. The man of God came, passing. She said to her husband, I perceive this is an holy man of God. For that woman to have perception, she was born again in those days. It was spirit fear. Because it takes a spiritual person to pick up a spiritual person. But she did not have a child. It wasn't as if promises have not come. She was in her old age. In her old age! No child. Even the prophet could not pick a problem. He couldn't pick a problem. The servant had to tell the prophet, look, this is what is wrong with this woman. It's barren. Now hear this. The prophet now spoke. By this kind of time. 16, 16 and 17. The time of season. You shall have a child. That's all. He needed a person to speak on that time and season for the child to come. That's what brought the child. It wasn't that a prophetic word was not spread. Anna in Silo. Pray and pray and pray and pray that even the high priest could not understand the prayer. Even the man who came to stop the prayer, the spirit of God have left him, Itabod. He was an ex-man of God, an ex-prophet. But he got there and said, what kind of prayer are you praying? Are you drunk? Because he has never seen, since, his, since 80 years of his life in the temple, he has never seen that kind of prayer. He said, I pour my spirit to the Lord. The man said, okay, it's okay. The time has come. Stop praying. Your child has come. Stand. Round up your first sin and go. That was a man whom the Spirit of God have left because he spoke on the timing. It was not the prayer of Anna that brought the answer, it was the declaration of Eli that brought the child. Who told you you don't need a man? Who told you? you need a man. You need a man. You need a man. You need a man. Need a, man. a declaration. But he came to meet me. I've contested election five times and I failed. I keep seeing it in the dream. But it never manifested. And I said, what do you want? He said, I want it. I said, okay, this time you will contest, you will succeed. And that was how it happened. He contested, he succeeded. Talking about man declaring timing. A woman came to meet me. 25 years barren. 25 years, no child. She came, I was crying. I used to see these children in my dream. See them, I carry them. Twins, they are boys. Never, never. For the past 25 years, 16 years, no message, nothing, nothing. I said to her, 
been seeing it, but nobody has prophesied it physically. He said, because there's an oil on my head. I asked her, what is today's date to mention? I said, by this kind of time, next year, you will bring the twins to me, the boys to me. And it happened in the time of season. Declaration, prophetically, the first manifestation. A man came to meet me and said, I've served for 32 years, no house of my own. And my salary now for the remaining years, I don't think it can build any house. And I said to him, I said, don't worry, the God I serve, we open your door. And then I declare, I said, by this kind of time next year, you will have your house. Six months later, he ran back to me and said, my son that went to Germany, sent money to buy a brand new house for me. Declaration of words. Words, words. You need a prophet to narrow it down to timing, to timing. A girl came to meet me five times. Five times they tried to pay a dowry price and the men turn their back and leave. And she always see herself on the wedding girl. I declare, I took the oil and anoint her. I said, that's what you see in your dream manifest physically. She said, there's a kind of car I used to see that the man that married me bought for me. I say, I pull it as your prophet from eternity to time and season. When I declare, two years later, a wedding came. The man that married her bought the same car as a wedding gift for her. I'm talking about time and season. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you, am, am, I, am I talking to somebody here? There's a time. This is the time. This is the time. This is the time. You don't understand? God doesn't know what is called 90 years. A thousand years is like a day in the eyes of God. So if you are waiting for God, God don't understand. God is waiting for you to step in. Time, time and season. Am I talking to somebody here? Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? La Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are in your time. You are in your time. You are in your time. You, don't, you can't fight a man in his time. When a man is in his time, everything works for him. When a man is in his time, people think he, do, he has done blood money. Am I talking to somebody here? Tell your neighbor, I'm in my time. Uh, I don't like the way they are shouting it. Say, I'm in my time. Uh, I'm in my time. Uh, I feel it. I'm in my time. I'm in my time. I'm in my time. I don't know what they have said to you, but I see myself in my time. I'm in my time. Tell your neighbor, I'm in my time. Say, I'm in my time. I'm in my time. I'm in my time. I'm in my time. Loco paradaya koshada. Walk to 10 people and tell them, I'm in my time and season. Hey! Oh, time. My time. My time. Oh, time. Lekos. My time. My time. Lekos. Lekos. My time, 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 I'm in my time, yes, I'm in my time, I'm in my time, I'm in my time, I'm in my time, 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 Hey, 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 I was in my one room apartment. I always tell you this. I opened the door and I met a life, life cat. 
on the bed, on my bed. There was no foam. It was my mother wrapper I used. But that was an insult for a cat to lie down on the bed that me, an anointed man, sleeping on. And by the time I tried to block, it passed. And I said, you are cursed to dive. For those even attempting to sleep, I don't know how the cat got in. I don't know. That's all. That same day, that same cat, by the well side, died flat at the back. Died flat. Because an acidic tongue spoke against it. I carry something. Stand up. Are you hearing me? You don't hear me well. I say I carry something. Hey, hey, hey. I came to this city with traveling bag. Oh. Hey, hey. And I've touched the wall now. I carry something. Hear me. I have seen battles that swallow men. Me. Hey, hey, hey. And they chop with 35 finger inside battle. <laughs> Even when my enemy thought I'm over, now that time I change level. When they talk, say, don't feel that, just they love I say, see this one. If they know what has entered this life, the breakthrough that I've come, I carry something. Hey, hey. sudaya. Likopa sutaya. Zoko parande yalades. Lusata mana yekosia. I prophesy to your life. Every prophecy angle manifests. Oh. <laughs> Every prophecy hanging manifests. I'm yet to see any battle that came to my life that I lost. You know what? It will look like it wants to swallow me. The time I come out, I come out gangantwali. And when I come out, I gamadalize the devil. House, house, what is gamma? Finish the devil. Gamadalize them. Hear me! Today I gamadalize your enemy. Fire three times. You cannot fight a man in a season. Trying to fight the man, the season will support. Life will support. Am I talking to somebody here? It's not my fault. It's my time. I am in my season. Hey! Shot fire seven times! Fire! 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 When we started the ministry, six months, somebody said, We give you one year, you will pack out. One year, another person said, We give you two years, we pack out. What, what? The one that gave me six months left Abuja and went to the village. The one that gave me two years was locked in the prison. The another three years, another one said, we give you five years. Uh, except, except, uh, talk, talk. Before the five years, he died. Another one said, let's see how you cross seven years. Now then they give me dates. Now me, they enjoy. Now them, they suffer. Can I prophesy with my acidic tongue? Anyone fighting you will die on dead and cry your cry will die your dead and cry your cry hey hey am I helping somebody here Walk to somebody say, we belong to a lion generation. Walk to them, walk to them. Hey! It's my time, it's my time, it's my 
They fought your father. They cage your father. They cannot cage you. Do you know why? Because it's your time and season. You cannot fight a man in his time and season. They tried to fight Joshua. The son stood still until he defeated his enemy. Tell your neighbor, it's my time. You come out. I hear the sound of marriage. I hear a sound of singing. There's a breakthrough coming. Testimony guaranteed. If God be God, by this kind of time next year, enter your season. I prophesy. What stop your father will not stop you. Your time and season has come. I prophesy. Enough is enough. Enter your time. Enter your season. Enter your season. Hey. Are you ready? 1998. I went to the mountain in Joss, Rukuba Barak. Plateau State, three ammo division, phase two. There was a mountain where I used to go and pray. I prayed, finished, coming back from the mountain. A woman in sergeant quarter, three quarters. She was washing clothes. And the daughter screamed, Who are those two giant men by you? She ran. I never understand what was going on. I followed her. She said, No, don't touch me. The same thing. The mother I pop open to see the same thing. And I became scared and left them. Two weeks later, an angel appeared to me in my living room, not in the dream, and spoke to me things that are happening now, 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 in this ministry. I knew there was going to be a church like this. Other details I keep it for my personal consumption. I'm talking about far back 19, what? 98 revelation that are bigger than me. Some of us are not ordinary. You can't fight a spirit. That's why people don't understand why people do. you stay in the dream and they bring flyers to you. That's why you are seeing me in the dream. We are going on spirit internet, not internet. You don't understand. I have seen people say to me. I have never seen you in my life. I saw you in the dream. You can use internet to attack us. You can't use pre internet. Because pre internet cannot be adulterated by fake and junk journalism. You need to be a spirit to enter that level. We are no longer doing publicity on air. We are doing in the spirit. You don't get me. You don't get me. A woman came to me and said, there's nothing anybody can say about you. I knew you in the spirit before I came. So I stand by you. Say to support this thing, I bless you with this money. Go and enjoy your life. Can I prophesy? Some group of three pastors went to meet somebody to spoil me. When they finished with him and bombarded him with all kinds, you know, it's easy to spoil somebody. When they bombarded him, finished, they left. 
He sent me about five million to my account, my personal account. Send it to me. He now called me. He said, you know why I send it to you? I just send it to you to support you. Some people just left me now, but God spoke to me after they left to bless you with five million. God, they spoiled me. He was not thinking of blessing me. But after they finished, God said, give them now. Now when they don't gossip up, now what may you bless up? Can I talk here? Unstoppable resort. Unstoppable resort. Resort that nobody can stop. I prophesy. Receive it. I prophesy. Receive it. I prophesy. Receive it. Shut fire seven times. My father, my father, every altar holding my destiny today, scatter by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Let's <laughs> go. 
La gauche était de deux, de deux, de deux. Lift up your hands and thank you. young man songs from the throne you know song. new songs from heaven fresh song from the throne it's flowing from the throne flowing from the throne flowing from the throne Flowing from the throne. It's a grace. Stand up. Lift up your two hands. The Lord is about to do something with you that no one else in your family have been able to experience, young man. Amen. Ah. I saw you being depressed because of the hardship 
in yes, the family. Yes. It has been so difficult. Yes. But things are changing now. Amen. No. Amen. There's a grace. There's a grace. Amen. There's a grace. Amen. This grace is going to turn you around. Amen. You begin to hear voice Amen. that you've not been able to hear. Amen. These angels will begin to sing to your ears. Amen. Songs that will make skins of people rise up. Amen. When people hear this song that will come from this young man, Amen. ghost pimples will be everywhere. Letoshitaya. Leko sutayani. Lekson. Ekonde lazundi. Lados kalush. Naluzi baduzi. Naluzuzun badali. Naluzun baduzi. Naluzun dum baduzi. Nabuzun dum lazuli. I saw the angel of wealth standing by you, red one by red. The angels of wealth. You don't know how God is going to do it, but I'm just seeing chains that have kept you too bind for a long time, that have made you to have financial hardship. I saw the Lord removing them, pulling them off your body. The Lord said, this is your season. You know you've been going through a lot of hardship financially. In fact, you are borrowing to meet up, borrowing to meet up. The things you see in your dream, they are big, big things. You see breakthrough, but it does not manifest at all. But I'm going to speak to you as a prophet. The God of miracle will cause this testimony to manifest. My name, pick him up. Pick him up. Lay suta, look here. Car, pick him up. Grace, look here, look here. Leko sida da yats, liko paradi ada da sida da da ba da sh. Le suta la bo sida ya la bas. I'm taken in the realm of the spirit, young man. And I see the angels of prophecy taking me all around your life. First of all, I'm thinking to your financial life. I look at how it has been down completely. Yes, sir. Answer me. Yes, sir. I'm taking to your ministry. I'm seeing struggles. Struggles. God used you for people a lot. Yes, sir. But they don't come back to appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In fact, they go to another place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To share the testimony. Yes, sir. That's the true thing. And then it's making you to feel depressed. Yes, sir. Because they will get the miracle, get the testimony. In fact, even to bless you, they don't bless you. They go to another person to bless. True, sir. They are planned accident for you in Makodi. Two yes, times. Yes, sir. I'm seeing Benway. I'm seeing Makodi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If not for God, they would have killed you. It's true, sir. You, you pray hard. You fast. Yes, you sir. talk to the Lord. Yes, but things are very complex for you. Yes, sir. You know, things is going to change. Amen. Emmanuel, what's your name? Emmanuel, your name is God.
there is a question mark around your life that each time you look at it they are using it to insult you yes sir it has to do with a child My daughter. your daughter your first daughter, yes, sir. there is a deficiency. Yes, sir. There is an attack yes, that you cannot explain. Hey. That child is a special child. Yes, sir. People around are now saying, physician, heal yourself. If you can do it for others, why are you not doing it for your own child? Yes, sir. Hey. Oh. Yes, sir. You know, Olorun mi mama je ka yero mi pe o arogbi the song says the conclusion of human being lord help me so that people's conclusion should not become my conclusion arogbi tenio arogbi tenio olorun mi mama je ka yero mi pe o you know, when my heart is overwhelmed, you lead me through the rock that is higher than That is higher than high. That is higher than high. This battle will leave you. Amen. The God of heaven is about to open this door. Amen. And begin to cause changes. Amen. Bring him here. Bring him. Bring him. Oh. You know. You know. If men lifted Joshua again, they would have brought me down since. But you see, this thing is from God. Hmm? Hmm? Repeat after me, my daughter. You behind. I shall not die. I'm not hearing you. Say, I shall not die. Ah. There's a spirit of death following you. There's a spirit of death following you. Wait. Just allow me to talk. It's because the way you are feeling with your body, something strange. Yes, sir. A voice is telling you you are going to die. Yes, sir. Even you, if you stay at home, you are afraid. Yes, sir. You cannot even stay alone. Yes, even in your dream, they are chasing you. Yes. You are seeing dead people in the dream. Yes, sir. Can you power yes, this sir. mic? I'm not hearing this woman. Yes. Is it true? Yes, sir. They are pursuing you in the dream. Yes, sir. You know what is wrong with you? No, sir. I'm seeing an ancient old woman following you behind with a coffee. Do you know why? You have entered into a covenant with somebody. Answer me. Is it true? Yes, I'm not. Yes, is it true? You have entered into a covenant. Yes, you enter into a covenant. Yes, and you say the day you do ABC, you are going to die. Yes, and there was exchange of vows. Yes, is it true? Yes, is it? And just answer me. Answer me. Just answer me. Is it true? Yes, is it true? Yes, and since then, your, no, your head. Your body is not okay. Yes, you are feeling that you are going to die. Yes, you entered. Is this the covenant? Yes, sir. Answer me. Is it the covenant? Yes, sir. Oh. It is the spirit in this covenant that is following you about. Come here. Stand here. No. 
The spirit in this covenant is following you about. Even the person you enter the covenant with, I don't want to mention. I don't, I don't want you to mention because I know. The person is saying you will not even be delivered. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. What you say, what you say, Lord. What you say, you will do. That is what you do. That is why. That is why you are called Jehovah. Tori non le shedja holua Tori non le shedja holua E il la shele wi E il la wi le she Tori non le shedja Let me see. Is this the covenant terms? Yes, sir. This what is the covenant? Yes, sir. Starting from here. Oh, 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 oh. Eh? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Any relationship of sleeping with any man while in a life? Let the person... Confess and die. Anybody that sent his mother or any other relationship or any other living being that will be sent. Who? Oh, my God. Kill and die. These covenants are very, very strong. The question is, have you violated the covenant? Yes, sir. You have violated. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Prophetic professor. Anybody that steal or carry money or collect money secretly that is not aware of mm -hmm, the person confess and die. Everything is confess and die. <laughs> this man, if you steal my money, you confess and die. This covenant. This covenant does not have mercy. Ele, you are Pojo. Anybody that block another person's success, that person confess and die. Ah. No, I, I, I'm just editing it. The thing is strong. It's too harsh. In fact, he. He was all over the world. Even in disagreement. Yeah. The man of God is reading the covenant Ooh. that she made with her ex-lover. This is very strong. Now, you have broken one of the covenant. I don't, yes. want, to, I don't want to go into the one you broke. Eh? Because yes, my, my purpose is to deliver you. Amen. Don't enter into covenant with anybody. Anybody that does not believe you for what you say should leave you alone. Don't suck somebody's blood and exchange blood. Are you a vampire? If you want to practice vampire, don't practice it with your lover. What are you vampiring? If you cannot accept me for who I am, leave me alone. What are you going to say? Uh, before we go into the marriage, before we do this, suck my blood, I suck your blood. The day you do this, you die. Uh, no, no, no. That's a vampire love. And it's affecting you. Because yes, it's sir. deep. It's very deep. It's very, very deep. Yes, and sir, since then, you've lost everything. Your happiness, your joy. You are depressed. Yes, very sir. depressed. Okay. We'll break it. We'll free you. So that you can live your life. Now listen, listen to me. Life is very short. Don't allow anybody 
and what people say to make you live a life that can destroy you. Just in America, a Ghanaian man killed his wife because of a pastor, a man of God. Killed the wife. Now he will be forced to die and spend his life in life in prison for killing a woman being. I believe in the sanctity of marriage. I believe in the union of marriage. I don't believe in divorce. But when you marry the wrong partner and you find yourself in that situation, don't die because of people or what people think. I believe in it. I uphold the sanctity of marriage. I believe in it. I hate divorce. And I will preach against it. And I'll continue to preach against it. But don't become a sacrifice to a wrong marriage. This is one problem with the body of Christ. There are so many husbands that have died. Have you seen the amount of widows? Have you asked yourself why the amount of men that die are higher than women? It's a statistic for another day. I believe in the sanctity of marriage. I will preach against divorce till I leave the world. But if you are in the wrong marriage, don't be ashamed to say you are in the wrong marriage. It doesn't matter what anybody takes. It's your life. It's better to be insulted, abused, stay alive and fulfill your destiny than to die and not fulfill your destiny. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. I'll give you, I want to see you for counsel, eh? Because this is deep. Hmm? I, you see, I'm being careful, eh? Because I respect marriage so much. I don't want to go into some deep t details, eh? My purpose is just to, to see how you come out of this and the solution comes out. You hear me? Yes, and that goes to everybody. Don't force yourself into covenant. Anybody who wants to marry you and the condition he gives to you is to go and swear before on your arm. Oh, what do they call it? Oh, Batala. They are giving you one thing to swear before they marry you. Tell them, go with your marriage and dash you. Don't enter into confusion before you start. That's not marriage. Your partner should be able to trust you enough before you enter. I break this covenant. Free you from this battle in the name of Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. You are free. Can I talk to you? There is this family generational pattern of sickness I'm seeing. Yes, sir. That is affecting everybody in the family. Yes, sir. And then um, it is also taking its roots around you. I want to cancel it. You'll be free from this pattern. Amen. And from now on, things will begin to change for you. Amen. I'm not hearing that amen. amen. Well, come here. I'm seeing strange battles. Brother, the Lord wants to do something mighty around you. You, yes. Something very great amen. around you. Amen. The hand of God is strong on you, amen. but there's too much rise and fall around you yes sir there's a call that i see very strong but these battles that are going around you is not normal exactly huh? if not for the intercessor around your life you would have been finished that's true hmm? see Dave, the mom my mom gave birth to me to have been a battle serious battle. serious battles i'm going to pray for you amen stand outside there Stand there. They are holding your destiny down. And this is one of the reasons why everything you lay your hands on scatters. That's true, sir. And in the family, there's strong disagreement and disunity. Yes, sir. That have been in the family. Yes, sir. But God is setting you free right now. Amen. I thought they are shouting that amen. Amen. Shout the amen like thunder. Amen.
altars from his father has watch the screen fire fire you can see the reaction free there's Celebrate something Jesus. sucking your blood there's something sucking your blood yes yes mommy. your health i don't know what's wrong yes. with this mic i don't know your health has not been yes. okay at all yes man of god i'm going to pray for you yes. because you are always seeing dead people in the dream yes they are always chasing you yes man of and god and sometimes you see yourself back in the village and sometimes you can't stand too long. Yes, man of God. And then your menstrual cycle is something else. Yes, man of God. Okay. I could have might no more Jesus. Where's your mother? There's strange power fighting you from your mother's side and also fighting your daughter. I'm seeing this. Fire. Strange, this is like a masquerade Fire. that I've been there for years. Fire. I'm seeing the same thing on you fighting Fire. your daughter. I want yes. to cancel this right Amen. now. Every Amen. power from your father's house, Amen. from your mother's side, Fire. holding your destiny. I declare you free. In the name of Jesus. My, my Jesus. You force. You force. Let her be. Let her. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Fire all over you. Anywhere they tie down your destiny, I lose your destiny. Free. Somebody has taken your private way, you, somewhere. I'm just yes, seeing sir. something that yes, belonged to you. There was a time you were looking for something that belonged to yes, you, daddy. and you could not see it. Yes, you were daddy. looking for it, you could not see it. Somebody took it to a witch doctor. Fire! That's good. That force is going to let you be. Amen. They have taken part of your glory. I want to restore. That's why you're having disappointment, promise and fail. Everything yes. you're expecting, disappointment. Yes, People Papa. will promise you and they will not fulfill it. There was a yes, money you were expecting in the past. Somebody promised that person disappointed you. Is it true? Yes. Is it true? Yes, Among your mother's children, you are the one laboring, trying to help. But even the way you are trying to help, they are not appreciating you. But things is about to change. I don't like the way they are shouting that amen. That arrow from, from any jealous friend, anywhere they have taken your name to, anywhere they have taken what belongs to you to, today I scatter by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I saw your picture. I saw your picture on a mountain. Jesus. And on this mountain, I saw stones on the picture. And then I saw seed like maize on the picture. And then the person placed a cross and said, nothing grow on a stone. Nothing will grow in your life. God said I should reverse it. You have been under a serious attack. That's why your dreams are very terrible. Of late, you are not seeing yourself in dream from one nightmare to another. When you wake up, you are afraid. Now I want to break that power. Anyone that say you will not grow, anyone that say you will not go up, they will die or dead. I break this power. I declare you free in the name of Jesus. There is a spirit husband that has been following you for a long time. It is what is scattering your way, blocking your destiny. 
But today, there's going to be a reversal. Break in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You force holding a life. I break it. 14 years now, you have been all that the same spiritual attack. But the Lord said I should reverse that attack. Who is holding my destiny? Who is holding my destiny? Who is holding my destiny? As I pray for you now, 342 of your staff will be restored. I say it will be restored. It will be restored. It will be restored. In the name of Jesus, fire, 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 fire. You force from the father house. You force from the father house. What are you waiting for? What have you done for her? What have you done to her? Answer me. What have you done to her? Answer me. You can say the reaction. What have you done to her? Fire, fire, free you, you. There's something strange going on around your life right now, yes. and it's affecting everything finance in the family. Yes, sir. Finance, the finance in the family is under yes. attack. Yes, sir. You are, you and somebody are not in agreement. I'm not talking about your husband. It's a family battle. I'm looking at it. A family battle. Yes, sir. Answer me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is a misunderstanding in the family. Yes, sir. And the person is very bitter with you. I won't talk more than that. But I want to break this pattern that is following you. You have a great star that should bring blessing. But what is happening now is another kind of battle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are taking your name from one place exactly, to another. Exactly, sir. Everything is blocked. Yes, sir. Things will start changing now. Amen. The mighty name of Jesus, mighty name of Jesus, mighty name of Jesus, mighty name of Jesus, you force, you force holding a destiny today, 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 you altars, you altars of witchcraft, you altars of delay, I break you, 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 free, let you there, you watch, yes, stand up. You come, 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 come. There is a settlement coming to your family. You come here. Do you have a passport? Come, 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 come. I'm seeing your feet in a white country. Somebody shot fire. Sister, are you there? Come here. Are you married? Come, come, come. I'm seeing a new garment on you. Sister, there is a sickness in your body that will live. Come, come, come. I'm, is it true? Come, come, come. Where have they hold your destiny down? Where is your woman? Where is your woman? Where is your woman? There's usually disagreement. Yes. Every time misunderstanding. Yes, sir. Maybe she advised you and you do not do it well. Yes, sir. You are, you are just a stubborn man too. You do the things you want to do. But each time that misunderstanding comes, there is always drag. Yes, sir. There's always drag in your business. Yes, Everything sir. goes. Yes, sir. Do you know why? There is angels around your wife that attract favor for you. Yes, sir. Each time you yes, don't sir. treat her well, yes, everything yes, becomes difficult. Right yes, now, yes, things sir. are very yes, difficult sir. for you. Yes, sir. Is we it have, true? We have a lot of business. I have a lot of business because I had disagreement with her. Everything. Because now listen to me. Your wife, listen to me. Your wife is not a witch at all. Yes, sir. She is okay. Yes, it's sir. just that she brings favor for you. Yes, sir. And you, anytime you make the money, what you promise her, you don't do it. You will do if you promise her hundred thousand, you give her ten thousand, you keep the ninety. That is one of the reasons why you are struggling. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. can you promise me now that when the other breakthrough comes, everything, where should they ask? You go do them. Everything. Everything. You didn't hear, Baba. Wifey. 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 You didn't hear, Baba. Yes, sir. Wait. Papa. Say, I'm, no, no. That promise again. Promise. That promise again. If the breakthrough comes, will you do everything for her? I will do. You will, will do. do. I will do. You 
will do. I will do. Go outside there. Go outside there. Go and wait for me there. Look, Shapran, no Shatara. There's a sickness eating you up. I repeat after me, I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. Let pass through tire. Pass out. You are of death. I cancel. 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 I go to the roof. I break you power. You power from the pit of hell. Holding a destiny. I break. I break. I break. I break. There is a generational pattern that is attacking the marital situation yes, sir, in yes, the family. Yes, Today, I break that pattern. Amen. I break that pattern. Amen. You will not be in sorrow again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come here. I, I see you in a cage. I want to bring you out of the cage. I don't like the way they are shouting. Everywhere they have caged you down. Wherever you are watching me, begin to call the numbers right now. You are watching Champions Television Plus or Champions TV. For those of you asking for Champion Plus, go to DCN TV. That's where you get Champions Plus. Rescan your decoder. Right now, I free you. Begin to call the number to book. Next week, is my case is different. Next week, my case is different. I don't know what they have used to tie you down, but I free you. Everyone watching Champions TV, you are free. Keep calling the numbers. My counselors are waiting to book you. Free. Fire. 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 Leave her alone. Why are you following her about? 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 What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Fire, 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 fire. Why are you holding a marital life, holding everything down? You powered from the pit of hell. Fire. What have you done to her? Leave me. Leave me. She will never set you down. I've destroyed her marriage. I you destroy her marriage. Yeah. She will never marry again. You don't want her to marry? No! Who, ki who kill a man? Who kill a man? No! Leave me. Okay. Okay. Leave me. Free. <laughs> Be very careful. Eh? Yes, sir. All through your life, you don't have grace for good friends. Yes, sir. That's don't, true. Don't share your secret with friends. That's okay, all. Okay, sir. Zip your mouth. Okay, sir. Your future is so bright, but don't just keep your mouth. Hear okay, me? Okay, sir. Come here. The God of this commission want to announce you yeah. I prayed and I prayed Lord Jesus answered me I prayed I prayed I prayed and I prayed Lord Jesus answered me it is where we must soul your answer has come your answer has come the God of testimony, open your door. In the name of Jesus. You, young lady, you, yes. Come here. Come. The ones. Who is holding my destiny? Everywhere they hold your destiny. Say, money come to me now. Money come to me now. There is finances that are coming. Yes, sir. Money is coming. Money is Angel coming. of money, locate him. Locate him in the name of Jesus. Your door has opened now. Ten years battle is over. That ten years battle is over. If I be a true man of God, ten years battle is over. Brother, I'm seeing a promotion. I don't know the kind of promotion, but this is your season. Where they tie you down, I lose you. 
in the name of Jesus. Sister, come here. You come, 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 come. I'm seeing an evil hand on your head. I remove it. I remove it. In the name of Jesus. Someone shot fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. Your season of glory has come. Your season of glory has come. Your season of glory has come. All tasks from your father as will let you be. Will let you be. I'm seeing an angel of breakthrough. Money is coming. Sister, stand up. Stand up. Repeat after me. My door open. My door open. My door open. There are three doors that the Lord is opening before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shot fire. I'm seeing sometimes weakness on your waist. Weakness on your waist downward. I break that pains and attack. I'm free you in the name of Jesus. Your mother's children have been under serious attack. I'm seeing, stand up, stand up. I'm seeing some strange power fighting you, medically fighting you, health wise fighting you. But right now, the Lord is setting this one free. I thought they are shouting that amen. Afraid. Free me, Lord Jesus. Brother. The battle in the family started 1964. I'm taking in the realm of the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I'm looking at a pot. Thank you, Jesus. Where a woman was boiling things like leaves. I'm calling names. Thank you, Jesus. And the names of these people that were there Thank are you, Jesus. tied to your lineage. And this is one of the reasons why nothing worked around you completely. Thank you, Jesus. No matter how you try to make things work, something must happen, there will be disappointment. It's true, sir. Is it true? It's true, sir. And then a sickness and premature death in the family. Right now, it's going to be over. Amen. I don't like the way this church is shouting amen. Amen. Shout that amen like thunder. Amen. Shout the amen three times. Amen. 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 Fire over you. You ancestral power since 1964. Holding his destiny. Fire. 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 I break that curse. I break that curse. Break the curse. Where is your mother? There's a strange force. Yes. Yes, sir. She's not enjoying her health, number one. Yes, she has been complaining about her health. Yes, There's a problem from your father's side. Yes, sir. You, your dreams are terrible. 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 This has affected both relationships, everything around you. You either see yourself in the dream, in the water. You see yourself, people are chasing you. Men making love with you in the dream. Is it true? Fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I free you. Somebody shot fire. Who is holding my doors? Every altar holding your glory. Today I command your glory. Release. I thought they are shouting that amen. You. You. You are about to do something in your family like a man. I'm seeing you are going to do things like a man. What do I mean like a man? You will have breakthrough and you will be acting like a man. Thank you, Jesus. Because the male in the family are under attack. And there's something about what God is about to do for you that is great. Are you hearing me? Even though nothing is working now, things will begin to work. Are you getting what I'm saying? You, you have gone to places for prayer, but things are not working. But as a timely prophet, I prophesy over your life that what has been hanging on the hair manifest, 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 manifest. Your hair has been taken somewhere. I saw something that was done against you eight years ago. I don't know what has been done against you, but I'm seeing this girl here in a shrine. I break that curse. Amen. 
mean that's why you are having excruciating headache. Yes, sir. It comes and go. It yes, comes and go. Yes. You have not been taking notes. Anytime you have that headache, disappointment, anything Jesus. you are pursuing, Jesus. scatters. Yes, I want to break that course. Yes. Anywhere they took your head to, I break the course. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire. Fire, 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 fire. I break that power. I break that power. I break that power. Free. There's a sickness in your body. Yes, sir. That's why you've not enjoyed your health. Completely. Yes, sir. Your stomach region. When the pain comes, you can't explain. Yes, sir. I free you from demonic poison. Brother, I'm going to pray for you now. Yes, sir. Don't forget the agreement with God. Eh? Yes, sir. I'm sure your wife is watching you now. Yes, sir. And I know she will remember you. Yes, sir. Okay. Stand here. Your door will open now. Amen. The cause break, 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 break. Doors open now, open now, open now, open now. Congratulations. I want to see you. There is a generational pattern yes, sir. in the yes, family yes, yes, that yes. is a both mother, father, everybody in the family. Yes, There's sir. one thing or the other yes, when it comes to marriage. Yes, sir. I break that pattern in the mighty name of Jesus. No, you, I'm going to talk to you. That's why you find out that this struggle is that I need to talk to you. It's not a public talk. You hear me? I need to talk to you. Strongly, you hear me? Come here. Oh, you hustle very well, but very well. Eh? very well, that is very if the way is somebody they hustle, eh? Now they take get money, this one for don't get money, what way? But there's disfavor. Yes, there's disfavor. Exactly that. I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Bring him here. Break. Bring him. Look at. Bring him. Bring him. Go. Go. Bring him here. You don't also too much. Bring him. Uh, uh. Hey! Hey! Bring him! Hey! Bring him. Stop. Fire! Bring him here. This guy need breakthrough. When this breakthrough comes, you go remember me. Hey! Bring him. Hey. Bring him. Hey. 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 Even the usher. Love another try. Bring him. Uh. You know they pray, say, Papa, pray for me. Why Papa know they pray for me? Today I don't make up my mind to pray for him. So every time Papa know they pray for me, they pass me. Now I won't pray for you. Carry him, carry him up. I pray for him. Carry him. In the confess, in the tell people say, Papa know they pray. Papa know they pray. I won't pray. Pa! Pa! Pick him up again. Now you know. All the time when I know they pray for you, now they revenge now. Pick him up. You don't tire. Pa! Bring him up again. Hey, 
oh, 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 Chitaya, oh, Chitaya. <laughs> Sleep. I see your feet in a white country. There's some things. There's some things God wants to do for you, young lady. Very big. It doesn't matter. You know? Mm. You may not know how. You may not know where. He will do it again. God, he's able to do. Just what he said he will do. Come on. He's gonna fulfill every promise to me. Don't sit up on God. Don't give up on God. to work. Amen. Listen to me. They have laughed at your mother's children oh, too much. Jesus, Nobody Jesus. is making it. Jesus. You have a very big Jesus. you have a very big desire Jesus. to change the family situation. Jesus. You are always seeing yourself. You are seeing yourself changing the family story. Is it true? No. I am prophesying to you as a prophet of time that it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Those who laugh at your family, who laugh at your mother, who laugh at your father, God will use you to shut their mouth down. Amen. 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 It's true. It's true. It's true. That's how they laugh at my mother and father. That nothing good can come out. But the story changed. The whole story changed. When we were burying my father, the governor was around, everybody was, the whole state stood still. We were asking, where did this, who is this child? We shook the state. That was, uh, they loved the farm. My father worked for 35 years. He couldn't complete his house. In six months, I built a house for him. I was the one rushing the contractors. Let me tell you, what they say, they used to insult your father. God will use you to reply them. Amen. You are not hearing me. My name is Joshua Igila. Make a token for broken. Anything where they use abuse you. My God will use you to reply them. They don't abuse your father. They don't abuse your mother. My God will raise you up. You go close to your mouth. Blessing go enter your heart. Favor go enter your heart. My God go lift you up. He go silence enemy of progress. Shut fire three times. That sickness in your body that has been there, woman, is out now. You will not die. That sickness they put in your body, walking all around your body, yes. that have not made you enjoy yourself, yes. is over now. Free. Free. Why did you pick him up? Two of you, come here. Come here. Come here. Two of you, come. You, come here. Did I ask you to pick him up? Eh? Come. 
Did I ask you to pick him up? Who tell you to go and pick him up? You don't allow God to do his work. I don't come back. Oh. Ororo is around. Ay, 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 ay. Something is moving. Hey. Something is changing. The Holy yes. Ghost power. The Holy Ghost power. Coming back to you, you have not finished. Let me let me do one thing, then we come back and finish the whole thing. Are you hearing me? All titles run out quickly, quickly, quickly. If you are watching on air, wherever you are, this is Champions TV One. And those of you who are asking of Champions TV Plus, we are on DCN TV, and you scan your decoder, it will automatically become Champions TV Plus. So DCN TV, when you go there, you see Champions TV. Rescan your Champions TV Plus, you see. And then don't forget this. Keep calling the numbers. Half. We are doing a prayer line, praying for the sick, praying for everybody that are under attack. So call the numbers on your screen right now. My counselors are there just to book you, for you to be part of what God is doing, to see me one-on-one -on -one with the prophet. One on one, live directly. Call the numbers. My counselors will give you the guidelines and how to do that. There is a grace that will turn your life around as you watch Champions TV. Doors are opening, breakthroughs is coming. Unstoppable resort is following you wherever you are. And those of you giving on air, you are partnering. There are numbers on the screen, account details. Pick the account numbers to so you want to give in any form in any form that we call cause a change over your life take the numbers and keep giving and those of you in the house who want to give your tithe come out with your tithe quickly come out with your tithe quickly 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 i speak to your tithe right now to your tithe over your life i command favor over the tithe breakthroughs your seed your partner's seed whatever it is that is in your hands May the Lord open the windows of heaven and cause breakthrough to follow you. And cause your seed to speak on behalf of you. Those of you giving on Champions TV Plus, on Champions TV One, wherever you are, watching on Facebook, or on social media, or on YouTube, your doors open. And keep sharing, I declare doors open. New beginning, that which you want God to do. Doors open in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Drop your tight. Choir. Iho ma chuku ne mere mo o di me bu belanya o di me bu belanya o di me bu belanya o di me bu iho ma chuku ne mere mo o di me bu belanya ewo o di me bu iho ma chuku ne mere mo o di me bu 
read our book for deliverance. Come quickly. Quickly. Let's do that. That will stop your father will not stop you. Choir. Quickly. Then we go into unstoppable results. Then I will still prophesy before we draw the curtain quickly. Choir. Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Space yourself. Free yourself. deliverance wherever you're watching us from distance is not a barrier we all you to call the numbers right now on the screen our counselors are there to give you the necessary information on how you can take part in the deliverance as you can say the man of God is setting the captive free via the help of the Holy Spirit just a touch watch your screen closely you can see the reactions you can see the manifestation yo yo what have you done to This is the power of God. Yo, what have you done to him? Huh? Why are you tearing him? What? What is happening with this boy? Eh? He cannot get healed. What have you put? I have destroyed him for almost six years. You can hear the demon speaking to him. How many of you are inside the body? Legion. What have you done to him? What have you done? Come and answer me. What have you done to him? I have destroyed. What have you destroyed? I have destroyed. What have you done to his finances? My God. What have you done to his finances? I have reduced his boy to nothing. Eh? I have reduced him to nothing. To nothing. Oh what have you done to his career? This boy. Uh -huh. This boy is a medical doctor. He's a, he's a medical doctor. He studied overseas. He studied overseas. I will make sure he becomes doctor. Wait. <laughs> he's a medical doctor. So what have you done to his career? Answer me, what have you done to his career? What have you done to his career? Eh? <laughs> huh? he, he wants to go back overseas. <laughs> he's here planning to write a British exam next week. But he will not pass. 
He said the first one. I will make sure he the next one. <laughs> You can hear the confession ah. from the demon. <laughs> Do you try to stop him from coming here? <laughs> Do you try to stop him from coming here? <laughs> yes. Why not? His mother, his mother, his mother was shouting. He should come. His mother Why was shouting. Do we have the mother here? <laughs> Fire in your body. Fire in that body. Fire in the clothes. Fire in the clothes. Fire. 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 You can say the reaction. It is the power of God. Demons don't know what to study. They can cage you down. The spirit of the atmosphere of the France. At your Lord, legions. That, that's a doctor. Legions are inside his body. Legions, they don't listen to botanical name. The anointing is what they listen to. Oh, yeah. Jaddy. Just a word of declaration, and he is set free. Wherever you're watching us from, distance is not a barrier. It doesn't matter the, the language you use to cast them out. The anointing is it. Once, even though they don't hear, once the anointing reaches, we show them direction. Oh. Keep calling the numbers. To book for your deliverance. Here in champions. C'est l'atmosphère de la délivrance. God is setting captives free, healing the sick, setting the oppressed free, one on one with the prophet. My counselors are there waiting for you. Just keep calling the number right now. Those of you whom the enemy has attacked, every legions attacking everything around you. Free in the name of Jesus. Seulement par la déclaration, vous êtes libre. Stand up. L'atmosphère de la délivrance. Copier le numéro et enregistrer, appeler. On vous montrera comment de s'enregistrer pour la délivrance. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Frederick. Frederick. Yes, sir. Oh, is it your first time of coming here? Yes, second time. Your second time. How are you feeling with yourself? I'm fine. You don't know what is. I'm not feeling any pain. You're not feeling pain? Yes. Were you feeling pain before? Yes. You Six came years. with pain? Yes. For how long? Six years. Six years. Okay. I went to oh. almost 10 consultants from Germany, Georgia, everywhere. They, they told me they didn't know what, what was happening to me. They told me it was um, one medical camp. They called it, there's okay. something man said. It was okay. something kind of psychological pain or something. Okay. You are free now. <laughs> free. Give Jesus a clamp of rain. Cette obéissance il a été reçu. Il a voyagé partout dans des étrangers pour seulement recevoir sa délivrance. Aussi il y a une maladie qui le dérange depuis six ans mais aujourd'hui il est venu seulement par la foi. Il s'est enregistré à la délivrance et par la déclaration de notre papa tu choisis là. Seulement par la déclaration, et voici la douleur de depuis 6 ans a disparu de lui. La distance n'est pas une barrière. Copiez les numéros partout où vous êtes. Téléspectateurs, partout où vous êtes dans le monde, copiez seulement les numéros dans vos écrans et appelez. Les consuls sont là pour vous montrer comment vous enregistrer et être libre de ces esprits. <rires> You can see the reaction. Oh. It is the power of God. You. What have you done to her? <laughs> you can hear the demon screaming out of her. There is no communication between free. light and darkness. And just a word, she is set free. You too can be set free, whatever situation, whatever problem. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask of him. All you need to do is to call the numbers right now on the screen. Our counselors are there to give you the necessary information. Okay. Hello. Free. 
you. In Jesus name. And just a word from God's servant, Papa Joshua Igela, you will be delivered How are in you? Jesus name. What's your name? Princess. Princess, what about you? Epa. Epa. Wow, beautiful girls. Headquarters, Champion City of Wonders, Chikokwere, Kuba, Abuja, Nigeria. Distance is never a barrier. All you need to do is to call the numbers right now on the screen. Our counselors are there to give you the necessary information on how you can take part in the deliverance. Watching at your screen right now, you can see God's servant, Papa Joshua Ikila, under the grace of our God, Jesus Christ, setting the captive free. Adjust a touch and you will be delivered. You can also watch us live on our Facebook page, Joshua Igila Ministry. You can follow us on our social handle, Instagram, Joshua Igila, YouTube page, Champions TV. Just a word from God's servant, Papa Joshua Igila. You will be set free. C'est toujours l'atmosphère de la délivrance. Vous regardez partout dans le monde entier. Je ne sais pas si vous regardez dans des internet, dans des YouTube, dans des Facebook, partout. Vous regardez la télévision, champion, ou soit ça serait, vous regardez la télévision champion plus. Copiez les numéros dans des écrans et appelez. La distance n'est pas une barrière. Comme ceux qui sont ici, si vous êtes libre de cet esprit lieu, des douleurs partout, des forces ténébreuses. Ainsi, ainsi vous serez aussi libre si vous appelez. I used to pee blood after I sick last month. After I sick last month, I was taken to hospital. So after the treatment, I realized that I'm having a difficulty in relating. Sometimes I, I used to pee blood. Please, Papa, help me. It's about two months now. Please, Papa. Are you also having difficulty to urinate? Yes, sir. Break! 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 Titi lo la ye le mi ho mani ho. Titi lo la ye le mi ho mani ho ga. 
You are free. You check yourself before the service. You hear me? You are free. And you come and testify. you are trusting God for comes to pass. I thought you were shouting the amen well. And that miracle you want to see in your life manifests. Today, what did I ask you to bring today? Huh? I'm not hearing you well. Huh? Huh? And what? I know 21 prayer point what? Honey. That's all. My case is different. It's next week. I'm praying for all the singles. They are coming with a bottle of perfume. I'm praying for contractors, businessmen. I'm praying for promotion. Um, I'm praying for all the contractors, businessmen, any kind of business for promotion for civil servant and all the singles. And my case is different. This amount of unstoppable results, you begin to see results. I thought you were shouting that amen well. Maybe if the amen is louder, somebody is coming out. Please do not forget to obey the rules of the federal government by coming with your marks. And at the entrance, of course, you know, you have to wash your hands with the sanitizers and the rest. Please don't violate it before you come in. And midweek service remain the same. Let's make sure that we are part of the midweek service. It's very important. Don't just come. Don't be Sunday, Sunday, tonic, there are pink Christian where you don't come to the midweek service. It's very important. There are deep, in-depth teachings that come up here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Someone shot fire three times. I'm not hearing that well. Maybe if you shout it well, I will believe that you are shouting. Wherever they have locked your doors, it's open. Bring out your prayer point first. First, bring them out. Bring your prayer point out. Bring your prayer point out. Bring your prayer point out. Your prayer points.
quickly. Your prayer point, bring it out. The Lord is about to bring you to a level of relevance. Okay, stand up with it. Stand up with a prayer point. Testimony that we put you on top. I release you to that testimony. Amen. I don't like the way they are shouting that amen. Amen. You have a very unique destiny, man. Come, come. Very unique one. I saw seven angels around this great man. Seven angels. These are angels that are about to take you to a dimension that you've never dreamt of. Amen. The next seven years from now, something big, or you are just planted in the midst of enemies, so many that want your life. That is true. Papa. There's jealousy. That is true. There's jealousy. The call of God is upon your life, but there's strong jealousy. There's some things I don't want to say now. It's yes, so deep. Papa. You will not be poisoned. Amen. This person planning to poison you have made attempt two times. You just a narrow escape, narrow escape. There's somebody close to you. I'm not talking about wife, no. Somebody close. This deeper is not a wife. This is something far from a male that just wants your head off. Repeat after me, I will not die. I will not die. I'll fulfill destiny. I'll fulfill destiny. God has brought opportunities for you strongly, but there's a lot. Amen. Don't worry, things will change. Amen, Papa. Okay, please stand up, everybody. Wave, wave it. I'm, I'm going to see you after service. Don't worry. Wave the prayer point. Who is Jonah? Amen. Jonah, amen. On the gallery there. Jonah, amen. Wave it. Wave the prayer point. Some of you, I don't know whether you are tired of waving. I don't come again, but... Wave the prayer point. Wave it, wave it, wave it. Jonah, Ame, if you are there, come, come, come. Wave it. What did you put there, you wrote there, that you want God to do for you? Read it now before we pray. Read it. I know when it comes to prayer point now, you will be meditating. Because you don't want your neighbor to hear the prayer point. No problem, meditate. Do it quickly. Mm -hmm. Onisha Iyanu, you're the God of awesome wonders. Tested, Tested of your power. Onisha, Onisha Iyanu, you have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. Onisha, Onisha. Thank you, Lord. You're the God of awesome wonders. God of awesome wonders. Tested of your power. Tested of your power. Oh, Nisha. Yes, Lord. And you have shown me so much mercy. Much more, Jesus. Much more than I desire. Say, oh, Nisha. Oh, Nisha. Thank you, Lord. You're the God of awesome one. God of awesome one. Tested of your power. Tested of your power. Oh, Nisha. Yes, Lord. You, you have shown me so much mercy. Much more, Jesus. Much more than I desire. There's a miracle. Now, wave the prayer point up. From every wing on the gallery. Make sure you are not sitting down. Wave it, wave it, wave it. Answers. Answers. Results. Unstoppable result. I bring those prayer points from the realm of the spirit to the physical. I bring the answers to the realm of time. I prophesy. I just saw number seven ticked in the prayer point. 
Oh God, you know I'm not exciting you, I'm telling you what I see. Number seven has been ticked there. Answer is released. Now, 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 now. Answers. 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 Number two. God is dealing with people with number two prayer requests. Oh, the louder you say that amen, the answer has come. Oh, I speak as an oracle of God. Answer to that prayer point. Amen. If I were you, I will jump up and celebrate, and the answer is released. Amen. Jump up and celebrate from every week, from every week. Leko sataba, leko parande sutaya, lege dege 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 de, paranto sataba da, lege dege 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 des, lege dege dege des, lepra ko sataba da da das, leko toto ya da yede, ida kaba sutaya la des. I prophesy to prayer request. Answer. Settle. Shout the amen three times. Amen. 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 Pick up your honey. Oh, take that honey. And when you carry the honey, I want you to behave like a human being that's ready to rejoice. No, Tamboa, my day don't break. Oh. I want you to dance with the honey. Tambua, Are you here? My day don't break. Make sure you are not sitting down. Dance so that your neighbor will be jealous of you. I say, Tambua, mama, my day don't break. Oh, okay, chuku nene, oruta wo maka. Tambua, my day don't break. Sambala, sambala, wa, sambala, wa. Sambala, 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 wa, sambala, wa. Hey, my dad, don't break us. Sambala, 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 wa. Lift up that honey up. The God that makes things sweet <laughs> will make your life sweet. See, when your prophet is declaring a thing, Shout it louder. The God that makes things twist will make your life sweet. Honey uh -huh. is sweet. It's not bitter. 
in the midst of your enemy. Sweetness of love. I'm not hearing that amen well. Sweetness of life. Sweetness of life. Sweetness of life. Sweetness of life. From every wing, sweetness of life. If your amen is louder than your neighbor, carry his blessing and add to your life. Leko paradeya. Leko paradeya. Anyone that say your life will not be sweet, they will die for you to enjoy your life. Anyone that say you will live your life in bitterness, they will die for you to enjoy your life. Everywhere they attack your life, they attack your destiny. Today I profess your enemies are silent. In the money, sweetness. Amen. In your business, sweetness. Amen. In your company, sweetness. Amen. In your marriage, sweetness. Amen. In your place of work, sweetness. Amen. In your ministry, sweetness. Amen. Everywhere you enter, sweetness. Amen. I'm not hearing that. Amen. Where? Amen. Enemy of your joy, wherever they are, die by fire. Amen. Now listen to me. Something is about to happen now. Before I release you, hear me. <laughs> this life is not too complicated. There is a way you enjoy this life and be in this life and fulfill destiny and make heaven. Listen to me. That honey, <laughs> it came from a bill. It's an animal that carries that thing and fly. And inside him, there's sweetness. La gabo shagabodia. How do you think the bee looks like carrying this kind of sweet thing inside its body? Hey, hey. That's the only animal that can produce sweetness. It's inside. Hear me. All the days of your life, carry sweetness. I never knew you can do ministry with happiness. I never knew marriage can be sweet. I never knew. I never knew. Oh, you might not understand. I never knew there's another side of life that can be sweet. That you can come home and look like a king in your house. I never knew. When I test this other side, I almost forgot that I'm in Nigeria, in South Africa. Are you hearing me? No worry, prophetess is coming. You know. I say... There is a sweet part of life. I prophesy. May you enjoy sweetness. You are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. I prophesy. That's the way they make you cry. Today I put an end. Oh. I used to think that I am naturally Cinderella. Lee. I used to think it's my body structure. When I saw myself adding weight and everything, I started doing sport to reduce. I was now doing sport every day to cut down weight. It is not food though, it's called peace of mind. I prophesy that it that will give you peace, that will make you find peace in life. Receive it! Anything stopping your joy. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost, from today I prophesy in the morning peace, in the afternoon peace, in the night peace. That only in your life talks about sweetness. May you begin to enjoy it. Shout that amen seven times again. Amen. 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 One more thing before we close. You will not lick that honey. Then you will not pray for one minute. That thing that you want, that tongue, that I've tested that honey to see. Lick it now. Lick it. Lick it. Lick it very well. Don't lick it as if you are doing economic. Don't be stingy with it. Lick it well. It's not a sin to lick honey in the church. It's your honey. You are the one that brought it. I didn't give it to you. Uh -huh. When you now lick it, now do some crazy prayer for one minute. Command the thing you want to see in your life. Command it. 
Oshakaba Bashe yonu Sinua yemi baba Bashe yonu Sinua yemi baba Kaye mitoru Mini mini Biyo miyafu Urapo Kaye mitoru Titi dale Kemi mabushi La yemi Kaye mitoru Mini mini Biyo miyafu Urapo Kaye mitoru Titi dale Kemi mabushi La yemi Kaye mitoru Mini mini Biyo miyafu Urapo Kaye mitoru Titi dale Give me my mushy life. Speak. I don't want to go. Don't feel more. Shut up, boy. Oh, but Shashobora,同飞摩勒,Shashobora,同飞摩勒,Shashobora,同飞摩勒,Shashobora,同飞摩勒,Shashobora,同飞摩勒,Shashobora,同飞摩勒,Shashobora,同飞摩勒,Sh